Okay. Is this working now? That was the wrong button. God damn it. I is it working now? Can can we hear you? I can hear you. Okay, so now it's working. What about game audio? Well, game audio just went- hold on. How about game audio? We hear that? Holy shit. Yeah, you can hear it. Okay, good. God damn. Like... Uh, you would say it's a bit like game audio or my audio? The game audio. Okay, we can adjust that a bit. It was up louder than all of the rest. I've turned it down a smidge. Still the same for me, but it'll be a bit different for you guys. better okay well that was fucking horrendous and is gonna be wonderful to try to to upload to youtube <laughs> god damn audio issues like please Ugh. well anyways today is going to be um and us building a, a, a cookie team to go and fight the abyss. This stream notifications went up quick. Oh, shit, it actually pulled it shit together and, like, did something productive. Good. Yeah, after resetting, it finally got its shit together. So, as you can see, I've got a cookie build with a lot of EM. She is... she's rocking the EM. Um, she's not using four-piece tenacity anymore. I put her on full-blown everything EM. She's still getting that, but full-blown EM kind of builds. 932 a lot. You don't remember? Yeah, 932 is a good amount. I mean, it's better than my sucrose, so it's pretty good. Granted, for, like, most, like, super hyper EM, you want probably, like, a thousand. You want to see this C6 Bennett overload comp? Oh, yeah. Yeah, the, the C6 Bennett. We're going to do it. It's there. C6 Bennett now. Goodbye, exclamation point. Get freedom sworn for cookie. No. No, I'm good, chief. Um, But we are going to be... Uh, oh, shit, I just muted that. That'll be a problem. I'm gonna want that on there. Clip it, uh, send it to a, a YouTuber so they can complain. <laughs> you have at it, buddy. Send it to whoever the fuck you want. Cause here's the thing with, with C6 Bennett, right? Ellie and I were just talking about this like a couple of minutes ago in Discord. There really aren't many teams where a C6 Bennett detracts from. I can think Eula teams if you're using, like, Eula normal attacks frequently, but her burst doesn't detract from it. Like, C6 doesn't affect her burst, which is where the majority of her damage is coming from. Um, a Razor team will, will suffer from it. Um, but in my opinion, if you need, um, if you need... Bennett to make your team even viable, that team's fucked to begin with. Like, y you did something wrong. So, you know, that's just my opinion there. You yourself would C6 Bennett if you ha even had C3, damn. Get cancelled for C6 Bennett. Wow, what a way to go. Also, I've been working on Inazuma Teapot. We're gonna this work on this a little bit more probably today after, um after uh abyss because let's be real even with meme em team here i don't think this is gonna necessarily take me a huge amount of time to do the abyss so we should probably have enough to at least decorate the area around the house here so that when people keep joining my teapot because that's been happening they join and they see nothing and it's just like dude there are bills like i made a couple of well i made one video no two video yeah, one video that's currently up of this thing down here, and then another one that's going to go up on YouTube here in a bit. Um, 
of uh, building this. And yeah, it is new Abyss Cycle. So I made this off stream. And this is a cool little like cave area. Nice like little courtyard. It's like a cave house with little weasel friend. Are you still pulling for kooky cons? Uh, probably not until basic bitch banner. Look, weasel friend. He likes to get stuck on things. Um, and like, run out of the house every now and then. But yeah, I made this in the teapot off stream like... Sunday, maybe? I want to say Sunday or Saturday. And I've been working with like, editing and, and things with it to make uh, some cool like little teapot videos. It's a fairly simple build um, in terms of, like, its very spacious design. But let's be real, that's mostly due to load limits. Um, but in terms of actually, like, making it, holy shit, this took forever. Like, and I had to use snowman, like, floating and stuff like that. It, it was a... Uh, it was an event, for sure. Um, but, yeah. This was... There'll, there'll be more videos of this up here, and we'll look at this later on. For now, though, it's spiral piss time. We'll do the teapot stuff after we, we piss. Spiral piss is going to be no uh, sweat for your Elon, even if they have non-hydro shield. Yeah, like... I'm, I'm not too worried. Like, <laughs> EM team here will probably feel it, but... The other side will, will carry pretty hard. So I'm not too worried. I am going to try something here. I'm going to try recording. I have not no penis. I have not recorded a video in a while due to various reasons. Primarily being it used to slow down my PC a bit. But I have 75 gigs free on my main um, solid state drive. So that shouldn't be too bad. Um... So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try recording. The reason why I'm going to try recording is very simple. And it is, I want to see if the audio stuff is going to work correctly. So I'm going to hit the old record here. Stop making noises, kooky. I'm going to hit the record. I'm also actually going to turn off the music. Because let's be real, Spiral Abyss music, not interesting. And usually when I do Spiral Abyss, like, on my own, I'm like, I don't know, listening to Metal Gear Rising music or something. But instead, we're gonna listen to some good old, um, oh, that should be paused. We're gonna listen to, uh, I don't know, some Inazuma battle music. Yeah, that'll, that'll fit the mood. Stand here, I really, yeah, exactly. You, you, you just get in there and go ham on it. This is also going to be a test for balancing, so if the music is too loud, which I think it probably already is, I'm going to turn it down already. Yeah, that should be a little better. So, yep. There's where it was before. Time to go in again. What is this one? Uh, active character, elemental skill. It character's next normal attack that hits opponents will unleash a shot. Well, that's going to be fun. The music is too loud. Okay. How about now? Better? It, it, it's down way far now. Still pretty loud to me, but for you guys, it should be much lower. After using a skill, more damage of normal attack? Yolan likes that. Um, no, C6 Yolan doesn't because her shots do not count as uh, normal attacks. Um, the only thing that I think is going to be rough for EM team is going to be this. I'm not going to put them on team two. That's going to be for Yalon cheese. But uh, this, I think, will be tough for th th this particularly for um, EM cookie. Okay, what do we got here? I mean, it's floor nine. Why do I even care? Just jump in here and let's do it. Let's do it to them. Uh, what kind of build do we want? God, this shit's loud even for me. <laughs> um, wait, where is the cookie? There's the cookie. Cookie number one. 
Um, I don't think I'll bring Sucrose. I thought about bringing Seong Ling. We know we're going to need Bennett, but I'm going to put him in four. Um, there's Toma. I was thinking Sing Cho, Toma, Bennett. Like, just over vape. Floor 9 and 10 will be the easiest thing. Yeah, 9 and 10 won't be too hard. I actually need to turn this damn music down for myself. There. Now it's now it's better for me, and I can eke it up a couple for you guys. There. Um, so that's going to be that team. And then just a hard carry as hell. We'll go try hard mode over here. Um, honestly, Yoonjin wouldn't be too bad on this team either because all the normal attacks. But really, the only thing that's going to be doing the damage is her EM stuff. And that's not affected by crit or anything. Where the fuck is... Where is the Zhongdong? There he is. You love how your Aloy is higher level than Tartaglia. <laughs> Sad. Y yeah, um... Yeah, you can see the characters I don't really use much versus the characters who I've at least used somewhat. Um, and then level 80 Amber. That's right. I have a built Amber. Yeah, you didn't expect to see it, but it's there. Built Amber. She, she exists. And you know what? I bring her into co-op sometimes and use her. Mostly when I'm dealing with like AR-40s. Oh, Elemental Mastery plus 80? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Please give me the give me the Elemental Mastery. Don't get too close. Support and fire! Going in! That nice vaporized damage. I mean, she's doing like 7k uh, whatchamabob damage, which isn't that bad. Check this out. Let's light it up. Teamwork is just know my sword. Let me weave you up. Okay, well, that was really unfortunate, because now we got to run over Stand here. Don't me. mind me. <laughs> hey, can we come towards the, the middle, everyone? Let's you know, light it a little up. bit. Here's Becca. <laughs> That real quick. Good. My fucking god. Yeah, this team will Let's be. Light it up. <laughs> Yeet. Fire it up. It just it really needs the overload procs. If it can't get those overload procs, holy shit, is it not doing damage? I'm going in. Hell no. Rain outlines your death. I asked the wooden shield, greatest of foes, along with these fucking tornadoes. Just explode, please. Check this out. Stand with me. There we go. That took a while. Your voices are a little too loud. Can't hear you over the ha hoo ha ha. Let's light it up. Oh, are you shitting me? That would mean game audio is too loud. Okay, I've lowered game audio a little bit. I can't do anything to actually test it right now until we get into this. Thank you for letting me know that everything is going to hell in a handbasket. That is um, very helpful. Busted. You're about to get started. Okay, well, time to mulch everything in sight. Where's the nearest enemy? Oh, look, a hydro shield. That's cute. Really? Did you just fucking run? Okay, well, I'm just gonna go murder your friend. Good, good, good fight. Much better? Okay, awesome. Yeah, it's gonna be a bit scuffed in the audio department. All of this, though, for, like, the recording, I can deal with this all in post. Oh, energy recharge? Don't mind if I do. The biggest enemy of Yolan. Things immune to Hydro. I mean, four Yolans versus Oceanid. It was a thing. You'll get, You'll get dead. 
Supporting fire! Huh? Rain cutter! Time to the bond is strong! Out of my way! Holy fuck the overvape damage. That was actually pretty damn nice. Oh look, Bennett has his burst already. This is actually a kind of fun just to just to witness that madness. Rain outlines your face. Nice fucking miss. I'm going in. Here's backup. Lightning terrified. Do you look at that? The damage on it is actually pretty nice. It's not even gonna lie. It is, it is a fun build for sure. It's still definitely one I need to get used to, but it is a fun build for sure. Come towards the pillar. And enjoy the cake pillar. I will have they order. They aren't doing much. Flags up. Unleash. Quietly now. Wait, you're still alive, Busted. buddy. You die. Thank you. Solidify. Time for a light show. Hey, I don't. I don't even need to like care with these enemies. This is this is floor nine. Quietly now. Black fly. Four Monas exist. I mean, sure, I could do four Monas if I want to run Skyward Atlas Busted. on everyone. Gotcha. Yeah, taste of this, he says, while dead. Use clam, nor, uh, they can't use clam or rely on normal attacks. Well, what the fuck are you gonna do? What are you gonna rely on? Good looks? Elemental burst damage. Um, yeah, you know what? Screw it. Let's do it. I got you covered. Let's light it up. Go in. Let me leave you out of my way. Now, I love when they try to move the second I do that. Check this out. Here's back. Everybody stand back. Rain outlines your face. Witness the power of Gugwa. No, I'll settle this. Our bond is strong. I mean, the overload damage is probably what's doing, like, the big stuff here. Assuming she is the one who's rocking the overload damage. As long as, as long as the cookie procs it, then that's good. Mona's have to rely on either Eye Perception Skyward Atlas, which you need normal attacks for, or Catalyst Everyone Forgets Frost Bear, all of which I'm pretty sure require normal attacks. A Frost Bear I don't think does, but the rest do. Solidify. Order guide you. Uh, Quiet, shut man. them up real quick. Gotcha. Game's up. Thumbs over. Quietly now. At this point, did I even need anyone other than Yolan and Zhang Li? They could have just duoed that. Seen elemental burst damage, you've seen so many Xiaos in co-op using the catch and two-piece noblesse. That's questionable. Because that the Yo, know, it could have soloed that. She basically did, yeah. Yeah, that's questionable because it's not his burst, it's plunging damage that he Yeah, you run into some very interesting builds when you play co-op. Oh, that's gonna be fucking fun. Oh, it's time to light it up against this one. Uh, this one's gonna be a pain in the knob. Am I actually gonna have to bring, like, Cryo Team to deal with this? You know what? 
gone you, Yolan. A combo you never saw coming and probably never wanted to. Uh, who else can we bring for this? Oh, Shenha's actually going to be needed here. I forgot. Ganyu does negative fucking damage. Or at least my Ganyu <clears throat> does negative fucking damage without Shenha. Burst does no damage. No blessing. Catch does nothing for Sal. Exactly. It's completely useless. Like, what are they doing? Uh, where's my EM cookie build again? The only reason why I'm not putting Yolan on here is because I don't feel like this team will have adequate, like, results if I have Yolan on there carrying them through space and time. What bow does Ganyu have? Prototype Crescent. Still no Amos bow. Skyward Harp isn't even that great on her, so it's really just Amos bow is what I need. Oh, energy recharge? Don't mind if I do. The putting no bless in the catch on Chow Challenge 2022. Impossible. What about using Child on the EM team? Completely fucking useless. Child has no off-field hydro application. Like, that's why Sing Cho's there. He has it was between him or Xiong Ling. My Xiong Ling probably could be consistent with all of this pyro, but it's like, eh, I think I'm good. Real a variety, you know? It's the, the spice of life, as they say. Rain cutter. Rain outlines your lightning. Oh, wow, we didn't kill it before it healed back after these two minutes. Teamwork is dreamwork. Check this Get your ass over here. So really, so her overload isn't doing, ah, yeah. If the fire, I see. If what rocks the overload is the fire from Bennett's burst, then, um, that was a shit position. Nice, nice job, buddy. Um, if that's what does it, then, then it's gonna go off of Bennett's EM, not, Shinobus. That is very, very worth knowing. Don't get too close. Teamwork is dreamwork. Rain outlines the wrong dude. Whatever. I'll settle this. Our bond is strong. Get your ass over here. This is why Toma is actually like really good for. Sing Cho might be better than or Sing Cho. What? Xiang Ling might be better than instead of Bennett for this team. Honestly. Oh, fuck you. Absolutely hate that. Let's light it up. No, my sword. Our bond is strong. Yeah, that took a while. They might struggle on floor 12. You have C6 Bennett, forgot about that. Yeah, they might struggle on floor 12 now that I'm thinking about it. That took a hefty amount of time. I might have to think about how I'm gonna set that up. Yeah, yeah don't mind me. Just gonna murder everything in sight. Oh, are you trying to do Take something? Take your true form by ordinance divine. <laughs> Denied. All hail. Get back over here and die. That feeling when your Yolan skill does more damage than your Ganyu's charge attacks. That's uh Yeah. That's that's rough. Um, character's elemental burst instantly. Yeah, fuck it. Attack. Attack does not matter on this team, really, except for like Sing Cho. Get that one. We're not doing much damage. We should really be going for you. Let's light it up! Teamwork is 
dream. Check this out. I need that shield, buddy. Witness the power of Gugwa. Rain outlines your fate. I think my music ended. That is very inconvenient. Now we sit in silence, and you guys are gonna like it because there's no choice. Because the wonderful sound of silence. Wait, where the fuck is the other penis? Well, at least you decided to show up. Check this out. Let's light it up. Everybody stick. Here's Becca. Rain outlines your fate. Dissipate. Get your ass over here. Like, they actually do decent damage when she procs the overload. It's just that you feel like in floor 11, the enemies have too much e, uh, have too much uh, HP. I don't know about that. Okay, do we have any other good Genshin battle music here? Okay, we got Liyue Genshin battle music. Let's go. Wow, it's quiet. Nice, nice audio mixing, Mahoyo. Okay, I think we'll, again, I think the EM team is gonna struggle, but the other side is gonna carry like it's no one's business. Like, that's the, that's the thing that you don't realize. This team is going to absolutely shrek. As, as we can see. No Ganyu needed. Ganyu, Ganyu has taken a nap during that fight. Crit damage is, is not really useful for this side. Also, how's the audio on this? Because now I feel like the freaking music audio is too loud again because balancing, so I'm turning it down a tad. Gone, you finally get to nap, not clickbait. Behold the abyss. Where the fuck are you running, buddy? Like, what is this? Uh-uh. Yeah, you, you're about to, about to get the dream work out. Rain outlines your face. Witness. Oh, I realized I don't have that on. Probably should, like, do that. Yeah, we're gonna need that energy back, man. No, 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 no. Stay, stay in. Get back, get back in the fuck corner. Get in there. Don't get too close. Oh yeah, it is it is time light it to light it up. Mm -hmm. I remember this old strat. Remember the thundering fury Bennett strat? Where he would light it up. Favorite line of Sing Cho, witness. <laughs> yeah, Yelan team shreds, but you would need to be able to at least some seconds. Nah, we're good. Obey. Probably should have did this bidding. first, but you know what? Take your true fault. Where are you running? Here comes the Why are you running? <laughs> Hydro Herald never gets to move again. Unleash. Come on, focus. This is long overdue. Born of ice. Fuck it, let's do this. That's Manifest. doing like no damage. The world. The world. Oh no, a hydro shield. Not even Yolan can break it. Begins to break it with Yolan. Um, okay, floor 11. Ah, the defense team. 
Okay. Uh, this team, no way in hell they're going to take on. Mere Maiden, too thick. And then... Yeah, that's going to be rough. This could be some HP hell, but Yolan team is going to handle this side. Yolan... Well, no. No, Yolan team is this side. Where we can Yoimiya Yolan again. We're, we're going to try it. This might get spaghetti, but we will we will try. Um... Do we keep Sing Cho or do we go Xiang Ling? We could always go Xiang Ling. I don't know how consistent we're going to get the the damage reduction on him is nice. Um I don't know how consistent we're gonna get her burst. That's the thing I'm worried about. If we go just straight up pyro like this, are we gonna get her burst much? Not that, like, her burst does a shit ton of damage on my build, because my Xiong Ling is, uh, not good. Um, is there anything that even needs Hydro? No, lots of Cryo. No. Eh, fuck it. Let's find out. Let's fuck around and find out. We'll see what happens. Elemental Mastery. Don't mind if I do. Again, what's the worst that, ha that goes wrong? I have to, like... Use a, a different, you know, different team for it. That's gonna hurt in the morning. Yes, it is. Nice and spicy. Fire it up. Here's Becca. Lightning terrified. Okay, can we get these penises off to the point? Thank you. Teamwork is dream. Okay, yeah, they're they're getting the the burst up pretty quick here. Ow! Could you not hit me in the face? Thank you. Everybody, stand back. Check this out. Ah, the greatest of enemies, shield. Oh, hi, buddy. Yeah, we're getting some we're getting some some big PP alright. There there's some that pyro damage is pretty good. Stand back. Huh? Don't get too close. Boba, get them! Our bond is strong! Yeah, it's not bad. That wasn't that wasn't too terrible. Solidify. I will have order. Okay, just gonna do some typical Elon things. You're still alive. Why? Why haven't you chosen death yet? Quietly now. Hey, Samurai, right, bro, you need to die. Thank you. No, you are not. I said you're not attacking that. No. There we go. Uh, oh, defense. Uh, elemental burst, heal. Defense kind of eh. Fuck it. We'll go defense, because why not? We'll, we'll go no buff, basically, because the only person who's benefiting from that is Eugene. Ow. Okay, well, I'll just wait patiently for them to come back. Ha, just as planned. Teamwork is teamwork. Supporting fire. Stand with me. Fire it up. Let's light it up. Everybody, stand. 
you know, this team is um pretty good. <laughs> um interestingly enough, they're doing quite well. Granted, we have started with um Gather. Order guide you. Gather. Uh we have started with EM boost like every time, but you know. Where the fuck's the other? Oh, over here. Gotcha. On leap. Solidify. Fire hazard. Yeah, Yoimiya doesn't care. Bye. <laughs> Elemental skill damage up. Okay. Don't mind if I do. Okay, now this is where Don't things could get close. interesting because um, we kind of ran out of bursts here. Now we're good. Now we just send these things flying into the stratosphere. Oh, we actually are, like, way off with uh, our burst timing here. Let's light it up! Nice and spicy! Check the bear out there. Try to get these bursts timed up again. Thank you, doggo. Please. I got you covered. Out of my way. Our bond is strong. Everybody stand. Don't get too close. Supporting fire. Let's light it up. This is taking a while on the, the timer. Again, I know they're not, but this team is not exactly meant for bosses. It wants a lot of enemies. Because it needs to constantly get that energy recharge up. God damn it, he is circling around like that. One down, where's the other? There he is. Get your ass over here. Our bond is strong. Oh my god, please die. 47 seconds. I think Elon team probably has this. I don't know what's on this side, but I have I have faith. Stabilize. This is more. Busted. Okay, we ain't fucking around. Go ham. <laughs> Strike is one. Feels is lit. Bye. Okay, these penises. Here comes the fireworks. Quietly now. Here comes Get the fireworks. Get him. <laughs> yeah, what? 20 seconds? That was like 20 seconds we did it in. You're back. Welcome back. You missed us taking out the wolves, but we did it. I again, this team is the only reason why we were able to do this floor. Let's be real. That that those seconds mattered a lot. Um, hmm. Yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be a thing. And our music is is out again. God damn it. We we got any other battle music here? Um we got like Enkonomia battle music or something we could throw on. What is this one? Okay, I think this is like Monstant battle music. We'll go with this. Um. Okay, I think we have to have these guys on floor one. There's no way in hell they can take on bosses. I just don't see that happening. And even then, we are going to need 
some seconds for this one. Uh, so EM team might might struggle here a tad bit. Uh, but it's going to be the real test of how much Elon's team can carry literally everyone. <laughs> that's That's the actual test. Elemental skill damage. Okay. I've got an idea for this. It's called run like hell and get them to come over here. Teamwork is dreamwork. Uh, eat this. Out of the frying pan. Uh, Ow. Fire it up. Here's Becca. Out of my way. This way. So keep them in the thing. I'm going in. Check this out. Boba, get them. Get dead with me. They keep flying everywhere. Like, this team is actually good against big boys. I got you covered. You're toast. Like, enemies that don't go to Narnia every two seconds. There is somebody spamming ice over here in the middle of nowhere. Fire it up. I'm going in. Okay, it's them down. Um, we have no pyro. That's cool. Yeah, nice Yeah, this 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 could be this could be rough. Let's light it up. Everybody stand. Supporting fire. Strong. Getting them all to stand in the right spot is gonna be the hardest. The Sucros might bend better for this over like Xiong Ling. Because Sucros could have helped keep them together. Naturally you'd want like Venti, Kazua probably. But Sucros definitely could have been a thing. Check this out. Here's backup. Let's light it up. Yeah, teamwork is okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, look at this time in here. Oh wow, we still have what? Two more to do after three more? What? Yeah, we might need sucrose for this one. This this might be a, a sucrose necessary. Don't get too close. Dead with me. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's, there's no way we're killing these things that quickly. Let's see if we can... I hit retry like a penis. Let's see if we can use Sucrose for this one. I'm thinking Sucrose over Xiong Ling. Xiong Ling is, like, good, but she is the hardest one for me to get energy for. She is, she is going to be the hardest one. Outside of... Shinobu herself, but her burst isn't all that impressive anyways. So I'm not too concerned about that. Um you there, you there, you there. Like Shinobu's team just has to give us enough time for the Yoimiya Yolan combo to destroy planets. Okay, let's 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 try this. Cause then we can also swirl the pyro, so. That'll be it'll be good. Everybody stand back. Absorption test. Stand clear. Enhanced panama module 75. Check this out. Support of fight. I'll settle this. Dissipate. Oh shit, I forgot to put that on. Damn, that will Oh, and also she can just Oh, she can be our driving force here. Yeah, that's going a going lot in. faster with with Sucrose for sure. Stand with me. Don't get too close. Your ass is over here. Stand clear. Absorption test. Stand clear. Animal hyperstasis, anyone? Everybody, stand back out of my way. Here's backup. <laughs> Yeah, because she now can be the driver for the wrong direction, Sucrose. Turn your ass around. Like, wear your glasses properly, girl. 
She has no fucking stamina. Because you were too busy running around so trying to hit the little bastards. Fire it up. Oh yeah, this is way better with her. Don't get too close. Supporting fire. I'll settle this. Stand clear. Animal test 6308. Nice aim. Let's light it up. Check this out. Our bond is strong. Everybody stand back. Let's light it up. Stand clear. Animal test 6308. Animal hypostasis, Emil. Toma, we are gonna need Don't shields, buddy. Here's Becca. Let's light it up. I'm going in. Stand clear. Animal test 6308. Ow. Fire it up. So this thing's electro infused, which is kind of um completely and utterly screwing our whole life up. Don't break my god, stand clear. Stand with me. Don't get too close. Okay, there Wow. 20 seconds. Your problem with overload is the knockback can be the most annoying thing ever. Yeah, um, we have 20 seconds to do this. I don't see it happening. Bust it. You'll undo it. Oh, yeah, no fucking way in hell. Take it easy. Gotcha. Like, I have all the faith in the world in them, but no fucking way in hell. Wow. A couple, like, one second off. Damn. Yolan can clear in 20 seconds. 21 seconds. Damn. We gotta, like, speed that up just a bit. You know what I'm going to get rid of for this? I'm going to get rid of Toma. Shinobu is still going to be there. You're still... You're going to go to three. I'm going to put Sing Cho back in. And we're going to put Bennett in there. Um, Not that Bennett was... Do Bennett was batterying, but he wasn't doing a whole lot. Are the elements of the Geo Shaps random? I don't believe so. Um... Bennett wasn't doing a whole lot, surprisingly enough, in this this fight, other than battering Toma. Um, you know, as stupid as this is, I'm gonna put in Diona. C6 Diona has elemental mastery boost, 200. That is, um, Diona might be the way to go there. You know. Once you hit the point where you know that you can, if you really needed to, you can do the Abyss. Like, doing these dumb challenges is actually quite fun. Think you can bully me? Look at you! Food. Absorption test. Um, these assholes gonna five. get over Animal here at all? Or, uh, Let me what's going on? Oh, that'll be. Dissipate. Absorption test. Yeah, that was um a lot better. Can't handle your drink. Witness the power of Gugwa. No, my sword. Our bond is strong. Lightning, you're a bomb. Stand clear. Animal test 6308. Think you can bully me? Think you can bully me? Absorption test. Look at you, Fuji. Let me read you a verse. Rain outlined. Ow. Stand clear. Mm, this one's a little rough. Once that second like phase came through, 
this got way harder for them. This is like the world's most jank national team. You can bully me. Shake it and stir. Look at you. Animal hyperspace. Our bond is strong. I mean, we're 16 seconds more. Should be goodable. Goodable, yes. Meme DPS Diona aside, Diona does some great work. She's a great support. She is a very good support. You just need 21 seconds to be able to clear the other half. True. Gather. Busted. Things are about to get dicey. <laughs> Please die. Thank you. Quietly now. Bye. That was like 16 seconds because I dropped um Zhong Li cake pillar. Okay, let's let's see what the other side is say. 16 seconds to spare, yeah. Elemental burst. Um defeating when it ends current cooldown. That's not bad, but I think elemental burst damage for Sucrose and Sing Cho. We have no et oh well that's gonna suck. It. Um Animal Test 6308. And this is the floor that um makes you regret your whole life. Night night night. Not what I wanted to do, but okay. Absorption test. No my sword. Let me leave you a there you go. There's the elemental mastery. That nice 4k fucking superconduct damage because superconduct is literally one of the most useless fucking abilities or uh, reactions. Look at you, down. Rain outlines your Oh my god, please die, you are annoying. Witness the power. Absorption test. Somebody please assist Sucrose right now. She's, um, not looking good. Ow. Now we're just gonna face tank that. And that. Dude, this fucking slime is being a massive pain in the ass because we just cannot fucking kill it. Animal test 6308. Fucking slime shield, please go away. Cryo is like the number one fuck us right now in this fight because we don't have freaking Show or any or uh, Xiong Ling or anyone Pyro. Please fucking explode. Oh, we have to kill Kenki in 25. This ain't happening. Oh, there's no way we kill Kenki this quickly. I'm sorry. He's literally the fucking Omega time waster. 15 seconds to Kenki. Not happening. There's no fucking way. We need Pyro on that team if we are going to actually do diddly squat. I I didn't think about that when, when I set up that team. 
Because, look, look at this. How many seconds just for him to get the fuck up? <laughs> look at him! You stupid prick! Ten fucking seconds just for him to get his fat ass up. <laughs> Takes Kenki 15 seconds. That's just the spawn. Fuck you, Kenki. Fuck you. Oh, God. What a fucking meme. <laughs> oh, what an asshole. Okay. Um. Is my my who fucking fights mostly him getting up? Yeah, it's him fighting against freaking arthritis and gravity to get his ass off the ground. That's the Kenku fight. Um, who the hell can we bring for this? I'm tempted to drop in the fucking emergency Amber, but God, I know that's gonna be even more of a meme than freaking Xiang Ling. Oh Lord, who do I bring for this? Yenfei is a, a possibility. Um, she will certainly be consistent, that's for sure. But she probably, well, and she offers shields, so, you know, C4. Um, plus Sucrose. And the Oni, I guess. In which case, let me switch you two around and go. Fuck. That'll make more sense to me, muscle memory-wise. 25 seconds on PS4. You're, you're playing Spiral Abyss hard mode. Jesus Christ. Okay, let's try it and see how they do on this side. Hey, look! All of them decided to come over here this time. That's a fucking amazing. No long character. Boom boom! Stand clear. Absorption test. Please die. Stand with me. Thank you. Diana special. Animal test 6308. Yeah, motion to compel. Yeah. Our bond is strong. I'll settle this. Absorption test. Good aim, Sucrose. Squirrel, mark two. Shake it hand. Inadmissible evidence. Boom boom. Yeah. Yeah, Sucrose might be occasionally a bit rough with Yenfei because she sends things into the air that should not be in the air. Incinerate! Think you can bully me? Look at you! Stand clear! Absorption test! Stand with me! Boom boom! Ow. Ow. Yenfei, please, let me switch to other people. Can't handle your drink. Animal test 6308. Animal, a bond is strong. Out of my way. Breath of the flame. Incinerate. Please don't push me out of that circle. I like that circle. It's my safety zone. I mean, this team's doing all right. Yeah, this team did all right, surprisingly. Yes, Tion, I think I can. Wow, cool fucking abyss. Could you, could you fucking imagine if that was like floor three and you had Hu Tao, but she was on life support because she's Hu Tao and she just gets fucking one-shotted before the fight even begins? Like, could you fucking even? I...
By the way, there goes uh, <laughs> there goes the music. So let's find new music again. How, how many how many freaking Genshin battle music can we find? Uh, um. No, that's just a, a fucking extended theme. I don't want Fireworks that. Fireworks are for now, but friends are forever. That's. Okay, this one will work, I think. Yeah, this one will work. This, I think, Enkonomiya battle music. Okay, well, that was a thing. Now let's mulch these enemies. Solidify. Busted. Feels a slit. Will we even need to, like, think for this? Quietly now. Game's up. Fun silver. Bye. Busted. <laughs> Fly and step. Solidify. Fire hazard. <laughs> Figured we'd do the less try hard way to try to conserve energy. Because the Lord knows we're probably going to need it for this. Okay. Elemental burst damage. Nice. Now, I'm just gonna run past your ass, and all of you are gonna come over here. Please get your burst, Diona. Thank you. You two with a burst would be very nice, Sucrose. Fuck. Okay, well, you're going to fly off to nowhere. You are going to die, because I don't like you guys. Oh, my God. Please explode. Thank you. Oh, the... Oh, no, you don't, buddy. Ow. Getting out of the way of you Motion and just compel. going right for your ass. Please die. Thank you. Time for your would Kooky Constellations be good? Um, C4 would be good for this for sure. C4 would definitely be what you want for this. Hands down. Bond is strong. Oh, yeah. You thought, buddy. Animal hypostate. Shake it after. Uh, this tanky motherfucker is taking forever. I don't have all damn day for you. There, there's some, there's some the big PP damage. Finally. Now what do we got? Like a little under a minute to to kill this prick. Oh boy, here we go. Osmanthus one, taste the shit. Gotcha. Busted. Okay, I'm gonna need you to. Go into your bullshit form here real quick, buddy. Can, can you bullshit for me real quick, man? Go into invuln. Thank you. Let me face tank that shit. Okay, now can you run real quick? Gotcha. You are about to get dicey. Take it easy. Okay. Good. Observe your grand finale. Mulch his ass. Let's go. Fuck you. Did Yoimiya's burst animation get canceled? Um, if you stand too close to a, an object, the camera just won't go into the full animation, but she still does the, the jump and everything. Okay. Oh, attack, plus 20. Well, Yenfei will like that, I guess. Yeah, 
get, get close to me. I, I, I want you very close to me. Animal test 6308. Absorption test. Lost all that energy that we didn't want to. Time for your arraignment. No. We, did, we didn't need that energy, man. That was unnecessary energy. I think we'll be fine on this side. I, I think we'll Stabilize. probably be fine. Quietly now. Yolan just gets her energy. Yolan pops a burst. This thing pops a blood vessel in fear. Black fly, observe. Yunjin gets some energy, does her thing, then boom. Okay, this thing becoming Bezos and trying to go to the moon. And now we forced it into the other phase, so we should be good. Where is it? Gather. Cool, it's I the fucking crap. Gotcha. Boy, do I Point freaking hate this thing. Ah, yes, the get stuck on everything because this bitch is going to screw us with its shield. Hmm. Gotcha. Too bad Elon goes through those, eh? I am literally gonna pop this fucking burst just to mulch this fucking crap because I hate that thing so much. That is such a, a freaking, like, run-ender with Spiral Abyss if you get that crab. There you go. 36 stars definitely because the EM team totally carried us. 100% because of that. Definitely. Didn't it all have to do with perhaps the fact that Yoimiya and Yolan were there? Of course, we could always go back in there and do the EM team on the other side and watch that go nowhere, because it totally would go nowhere. Though, truth be told, like, they would do pretty well overload team on this because these guys wouldn't fly off into the stratosphere. Same with him. He wouldn't fly off into the stratosphere. He would just run around like a bat out of hell. And this, well, he does fly off into the stratosphere, but not for overload reasons. So, like, it could certainly work on the other side, too. But there you go. The old cookie team actually proved useful. And again, cookie build, decent. Like, decent for EM. This, eh, not so much. But EM, yeah, she's she's good for a three-star sword. Yeah, she's, she's all right. Like, not half bad. You got EM set on virtually everything. Especially, like, if you look at the Feather, 61 EM, Flower, 91 EM. Like, these are all pretty damn good cookie sets. Like, that's what you want. C1 on her, 8 across the board. You know, pretty good, pretty good cookie. And this now means that we can... Did I already grab the shit that was in here? Yeah, I did. And we can now teapot. It only took us, what, an hour or so to, to do this? About an, about an hour and ten. We can now we can now teapot and also turn off the hyper-aggressive music because we don't need hyper-aggressive teapot. We can put on peaceful music. 
The criteria for certificate exams are straightforward enough. What it really comes down to is whether you are willing to put in the time. If you study and practice, then it's really not all that difficult. Thanks, Cookie. Oh yeah, I've also just been <laughs> I've just been hoarding these by the way. Like just just keeping a bunch of these because honestly, like the gladiator wanderer is way more beneficial to me than the vermilion and echoes. So I've just I have just like tons of these things just chilling here now. I haven't bothered to open them. I'm just going to see how much of a collection I can build up and then open them up like Christmas presents. Uh, anyways, teapot time. So the fun is over. The good stuff is over. Everyone can leave now. Let's only turn this down a bit. So, I want to do something with this area. We'll do interior teapot stuff eventually. Um, in fact, this will probably be, like, one of, if not the last Genshin stream we get until 2.8 comes out. Just because I have nothing really left to do. I mean, I guess I do have the, the robot thing. I need to remember to do this damn quest because I it's a teapot thing. I want, I want the teapot goodies. Um... But yeah, I don't really have a whole lot to do in Genshin until 2.8. So other than teapot streams, this is probably the last stream we'll get. Um, again, the live streams tomorrow, though, of the actual, like, Genshin stuff. Um, let me yoink this. So I want to figure out what I can do here. I've got a couple of ideas, one of which involves, like, trying to make, like, a little, like, hidden village kind of a thing. Um, I'm not sure how well that will work out, though. I'm not sure how that's all gonna go down, but I'm, um, I'm gonna give it a try here. I've got 36 of these. Okay. Or we could try to use some of these, because I do have a lot of these as well. I don't know which ones take more load. I need to bring up, like, a load sheet that tells me, like, all of... This one's larger, so I'm just going to go with that. Um, all of them that take load and stuff like that. Um, I definitely do want this somewhat on a cliff up in the air for various reasons. Mostly so I can try to avoid sinking, because I do want to maybe try to make, like, bushes and stuff via the trees. Um... At this height, I probably am still going to have to sink, uh, which is annoying, but not impossible to deal with. I'm going to raise this just a little bit. Maybe I shouldn't raise it a bit. Because if I raise it a bit, if I have this, like, I don't know, like, let's put it at six, for example. Maybe this won't be... It's not bad. I think we I think we can work with this. But anyways, now is now is the fun of teapot. So if you guys only came for spiral piss, then thank you for being here for spiral piss. But we will now we will now teapot. I need to get this on something, so. And kind of, like, get a layout of how I want to do this. I do want the entire thing up on a cliff, again, so that I can move it around to deal with clipping a lot more. We're definitely going to do the snowman clipping method, because holy shit, does that make your life so much easier. Uh, or a uh, snowman floating, rather. I did come up with a, well, I think I came up with it, another weird kind of floating thing, but it's really inconsistent. So I don't know how how good it's gonna be. Um, I guess in place up there is it the center one? No. 
That would mean it's the back one. Yes. Okay. I'm just gonna like slap you there for now. Okay. How do we want to play the general layout of this? So the pathway comes up here. Um, how do I want to do this? So you're going to see some, like, very basic sinking right here to make the stairs um, with these. Because as you notice, I can't actually sink these into the ground in the normal way. But turning these into, like, something that can be put into the ground is actually really quite easy. This is probably the easiest form of sinking that we currently have. And that is uh, set sinking. I can click on the damn thing. Um, this is, this is really quite easy for, for sinking. Uh, it's just a matter of now, how do I want to do this? Um, because right now, as I have this, as the set as a whole is functioning, this is ground level. So if I grab it as a set and pull it back over here, it will be at ground level. Now, if I lower this and get rid of snap height, if I lower this... All of a sudden, this is still ground level. This will end up in the ground um, because it's lowered beneath what would technically be beneath the ground once the whole entire set goes down. What I believe is happening from like a uh, modeling standpoint is that the anchor that counts as what the Z axis is, what the, the vertical up and down axis is, isn't changing. Even though we're moving the model around, the z-axis for the entire set is remaining consistent, and that's why when you pull it down, the set down, as selected as a whole set, it's based on the z-axis of the set, which is not moved since we've done this. It's still at the very base level of this rock, um, which is why this ends up down there. Again, a little bit of what I assume is some inside baseball here on why this is working the way it is, um, why you're able to use sets like this to do this sort of a thing. I'm kind of making some wonky stairs here. I don't want them to be, like, completely even. I think even stairs with this kind of a thing is a bit bland. I like them to be a little... Eh, just a little, a little out there. A little uneven. It's more natural that way. Oh, and in regards to all of the, the fun audio issues that have been going on, um, I had to end up getting, like, free virtual audio cables. And I'm not a huge fan, honestly, of using virtual audio cables much anymore. Um, now watch this. We grab that. Boom. Sank beneath the ground now. And you can rotate it and everything like that because it's all based on the set itself. It actually works pretty well because it goes with like the curvature of the gla the, the grass the the grass there yeah, um, and then we can get like some other stuff in there bushes or something, um, but yeah so ooh. we're gonna have to add some more rocks to that though, um, but yeah the, the the audio stuff I'm not a huge fan of using virtual audio cables anymore because they always were kind of a nightmare for me, um. My biggest thing is tomorrow's stream. I plan on doing um, more Rune Factory 5 because I haven't streamed that in a while tomorrow. And uh, yeah, that's going to require me to load up the old Switch. And that's what's scaring me there because that's not right. Um, that's what's scaring me because I'm going to need... Uh, 
feel like I put this in the wrong direction there. Um, I'm going to need to basically require to be using Elgato, uh, Elgato's audio stuff. And if you've been following along with the hell of this on Discord, uh, Elgato has kind of uh, pissed off into the night. And I have no idea where it is now. Um, it's just kind of gone. So, yeah. Still gotta, gotta figure out what's going on with old Elgato here. Because it is 100% Elgonzo. And that might be a teensy bit of a problem for getting my Switch audio. Like, it shows up. The program itself shows up on my computer. Like, it is, theoretically, it is running. Uh, but on Ear Trumpet, which is another program that I'm using to manage what programs go to what channels, um, it doesn't exist. And it existed as of, like, yesterday. So, this is a teensy bit concerning for me. I've kind of got to figure out what the hell's going on with that. Okay, so now we've got our first little platform here going on. Um, and we can kind of deal with this in a few different ways. I don't mind it being that straight, really. Uh, we can always put something there to kind of block that. Did it ever truly exist? Did anything ever truly exist? Do we truly exist? Hmm. Those are, um, quite the existential questions to be asking. Honestly, the shape of this isn't going to really matter a whole lot, to be entirely real. And you'll see why in a minute. Um, because I'm going to kind of cover this with rocks going forward. So this won't be too big of a deal. One thing I recommend doing when you're doing stuff with like floating and things like that, which we're going to get to. If you're going to make stuff that has walls on an exterior, put the walls in as close to last as you can. Even if you have to make the walls and line them up just to see how they'll look, don't actually place them there until you've got all of your, your stuff set up. Because it is extremely difficult to start floating when you have... Um, I think it's courtyard I need. Um, when you have all that stuff in the way, it becomes just very difficult to do. Uh, you are big. Bigger than I anticipated, too. Hmm. I've got an idea. Uh, -do 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 -do. where is it? Crap. You know what? Yes. Yes. We're gonna need one of you anyway, so we might as well might as well use it, because uh, you need to be able to. I mean, at this point, we might as well just use one of these, right? Yeah. Where did I put it? Oh, there's also this. This might look better. It's it's smaller and all. Yeah, and that's at that level. And you might be wondering why, because I've got to get up there, right? Well, we're going to make stairs, that's why. We are going to make stairs. Um, one of the things that I don't do, and I probably should do when I make these things, is plan. I don't really plan my builds out at all. Uh... As you can probably figure out from the way I'm just kind of haphazardly chucking things about. Uh, planning stuff is for chumps. And people who have foresight and brains. And clearly I am not in much of a possession of any of that. So I don't plan as much as I should. And that can lead to um, scuffed load limits and other not-so-fun things later on down the road. 
like one of the reasons I think why you see people make such like beautiful builds. Well, there's a couple of reasons. One is a lot of times they have their builds be very, very isolated in that like you need a teleporter to actually access them and you can only look at them from certain angles. If, if you don't, you get to see the, the seams, if you will. And those builds are still extremely amazing. Like even the fact that you can make those are insane. But that usually isn't how I like to do things. I usually like to uh, be able to walk around, see things from every angle. Um, but another reason why people are able to make such amazing builds, far more amazing than anything I can generally pull off, is uh, they sit down and they plan stuff. Meanwhile, you're just putting stuff where there's space. You are like probably 90% of the people who play this game. Like, legit, you have no idea how many teapots I've gone into, and it's just like, here is my random set to make, I don't know, Xiong Ling happy. It's like, oh, well, that's, that's cute, you know. But I don't know, I've, I've always loved decorating and stuff. Like, this, this stuff definitely stimulates the almonds. Like, it, it, it is good. What's not good is how many of these things I'm using here just to make these damn stairs. Like, holy Jesus, but why? Um, can you click on that? Thanks, buddy. I can hear future me screaming as I'm trying to edit this into a video right now. Like I can just, I can just hear the, the 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 pain of being like, oh my god, why are you so slow? I'm going to have to like speed this up by a thousand percent. Oh my, invalid furnishings are present. Oh, I know why, because this is outside of the, the thing. There you go. Yep. And now future me is going to be like, God damn it. He went out of the thing to test it again. Oh, that's another thing I've got to edit out. Not bad. Honestly, do I need the double here? Like, do I really need the two? Can I just get away with just one? I can probably get away with just, like, a one set. A nice fucking camera. Uh. Oh, 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 yeah, I forgot. If I move any of that, it's going to get testy with me. This thing can be real uh, finicky, to say the least. Okay, now it still works. Can rotate it pretty much where I want. It's fine. The main reason why I'm doing this is honestly just to save rocks. There's not a whole uh, a whole lot more of a reason. It's just to save rocks. Here we can move you over now, so you're a little more centered. Nice fog. You know what? I like that fog showing up there. Okay, we walk in here, and then... Mm. There's a part of me that wants to, like, do it to him, and I'm going to. 
I don't really like how this is like, hey, you go up and then you're right back down. Like, we're going to fix that. By introducing our favorite friend, the snowman. Uh, where is the snowman? Okay, first we've got to introduce our favorite thing. Um, can I put the snowman on this, actually? That might, uh... Yes, I can. Well, that'll make things nice and easy. So we're going to do some snowman clipping here in a minute. Um, what's up, snowman? So the thing of snowman, all that you really need is the head. Um, I will put on some hands and some eyes just to make him, just to make him pretty. And here, he can have a, he can have a nose, but he's not getting a hat because I don't want things in my way. There, he can have that too. There you go. He's not getting a hat. Hat, out of the way. Nah, it's too... Yeah, you know what? Fuck it. We'll give him a hat. There you go. We need a head, though. The head is actually very much required to do this method. And it is the weirdest method ever. I, I From an, any standpoint, I can't explain why this works. I, I literally cannot. Um, your height is at 6. I'm going to pull you down to 5.5, apparently, because we snapped height like an asshole. Um, all that you need to do to float things with your resident snowman is line up the head with the object. So I've clicked on the object, and now you need to get it so that it flashes red real quick when you're uh, clicking on it. There you go. Congratulations. That bitch is floating. And I'll prove it by lifting this back up to six. Boom. Now we've gotten rid of the annoying lines, or the annoying, like, walk thing there that I didn't want. That simple. Can move it around, do whatever. That, that bitch is floating now. That is way easier than having to go underneath it, try to click it, accidentally send the thing off into Narnia like I was doing before. This is infinitely easier. Very, uh, very good, uh, thing there. Hello, not hyper, welcome. That is a Z. I'm, I'm, we seem to be practicing our alphabet, but backwards. Um, okay, so let's think on how we want to do this here. Okay, we can kind of build up on this and move around. Um, I've sort of funneled myself into this area being kind of blocked off. Um, there's not a whole lot I'm going to be able to do over here because I'm going to want to back it off. Um, but... Hmm. We should be fine to kind of still just normal lay out this. Yeah, I'm going to try to create some, like, funky shapes here. I'm going to use mostly, like, cliffs and stuff to, to barrier this. So it's not going to be too necessary to get the wonky shapes, but I'll go for it anyways. Um, this is six height, right? Anyways, how are, you, how are you doing today? We did spiral piss already, so if you were here for the old... Spiral. Uh, that was oof. That's two. Two there. Magic snowman patch when. Don't you dare patch my snowman floating. This is me. I could not have done. I could not have done. This without that snowman. Like you go ahead and try to float some of this crazy shit without that snowman. Oh my god, no. I couldn't have done it. Mm -mm. This this was insane. Even then, I still had to use, like, I still had to have um, Weasel Friend here on, uh, get down in there, maybe, on these things, on the floating stuff. Else, I don't think he would have had pathing, one. And two, you literally can't float. Um, that was not the right button. You literally, you, you can't float, um, Certain items, certain, like, living people, like characters, if you're gonna put companions in there, can't float them. Pets, can't float them. You can float the things that they're on, 
For example, if you put them on like uh if I can find the damn thing. If you put them on this, right? You got somebody on this. You can float this with them on it. And thus, if you're going to clip things into them, because this works with clipping as well, you clip this with the thing on it into the object. That can work. But the actual, like, companion or animal or I think even... I want to say these things as well. Yeah, these. What the fuck even is this? I legitimately have no idea what the hell this is. Um, I've never used it. I can't even, like, rotate my camera, apparently. You have no idea what that is. It's leisure, confused, confuzzlement. Well, yeah, I'm fucking confused. Um, but yeah, you legitimately, you can't float those sort of things. You, or clip them. You have to, uh... You've got to do a whole nother thing with that. Um... I would like to use some of these instead of all of my damn floating ones, but, uh... Well, maybe we're, maybe we're just gonna, we're just gonna have to here a bit. Oh, you're gonna want me to, okay. There. Oh, yeah, I see why, because it's going through that. Yeah, I'm thinking we'll go for, like, some... God damn it. Some sort of, like, maybe village kind of a thing here? Um, it's gonna be a little bit tricky to do because of just how I'm, again, not planning anything. And also just the, the layout of everything. Um, so this might be a, a teensy bit difficult for me to pull off. But I think we'll be fine. Okay, and again, we can cliff around there. We can probably start adding decorations to here, to be honest. Um, like, stuff like this to kind of give us the walkway. Uh, this kind of stuff would work nice. One thing that I did find interesting is that, um, is it over here, I think? These shrooms, they do not take a lot of load at all. Like, these things take very little load, um really fascinating to me because i expected something that's usually the plant stuff the stuff that's in this section are usually fairly load heavy but those not so much um you know this is a different rock perhaps it's a little too perfect but another reason why i like using rocks for these kind of stairs is well the rocks match and they add a little more diversity to the stairs themselves That one's a little weird, but whatever. And I guess we can throw in some trees. And I do have to be careful what kind of trees I'm using here, because some of these trees are going to be way more load-heavy than others. I don't know about the maple trees, how load-heavy they are, but I do know that there are some... A lot of the Liyue trees, like the sand bear trees and like the trees that have the weird curves and everything, those are exceptionally load-heavy. Good job. Just kind of want to deal with that little pocket there. Kenki can eat your shirts. You having fun in the, the abyss too? It's a, it's a grand old time in the old spiral piss. Uh, is it? No, it's no, it is landform. It's these. Yeah, so much fun. Yeah, the good old, good old Kenki taking 15 freaking seconds to get his old ass up. Dude is more of a boomer than I am. Takes longer to get up in the morning than I do.
do this one. Maybe some more like reddish bushes here. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, honestly, in terms of... I just think Kenki is one of the worst things they could have ever put in the Abyss, to be entirely honest. Like, it's just like, do we really need something that is just clearly there to waste time? Like, there is no other reason for Kenki. Well, that actually looks nice. Um, there's no other reason for Kenki than to waste your damn time. Because he just says he has invuln frames, he has get the fuck up frames. The dude's just got all of the problems. He keeps dashing across the map every three seconds. Yeah, that's why you try to block him into a corner. Always have him face a wall. Uh, that's that is the why I fight him sort of the sort of way that I do. Um, you know, I might be able to start getting the cliffs in here. Yeah, some of these cliffs can start getting in here. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. He goes the wrong way most of the time. Yeah, he is. He's just an asshole. Like, really just not, like, Mahoyo, why'd you do it? Why, why, why Kenki? Why did he have to be in the abyss? He does not belong there at all. Uh, huh. I could do this, but... Starting to look kind of samey there, so I don't know if I want to do that. Maybe I want to like make this side a little larger or something. I mean, they're all gonna have to get this large eventually because they gotta get the fuck up here. But I do like how this the curvature of this. This boulder, this cliff here, plays with the, the stairs. As long as that's fully clipping into it, that's nice. I don't like how it plays with the door. That's not exactly cool, but we'll deal with that when we get there. Actually, do I give a fuck about the door? I can have the door literally clip into these. That's no big deal. This is some very emotional music for placing rocks. Oh yeah, I forgot. That thing's... Ah, shit. That thing's floating. Yeah, I didn't think that went through, did I? I have it floating. Hmm. Well, time to get its ass up. It ain't gonna be floating anymore. At least not at the moment. Oh shit, it needs to be floating on here. Get your ass over here. You need to go back down to 1.5. Now, I can get you to float. Yeah, it should be fine. I think that was the whole the whole album there. Yep. Okay, next one. Just, just ramming through music here. Again, I miss the old days where you could just stream any old music, not just video game music, before, you know, the record companies decided to get penisy about it all. Yeah, those were those were the grand old days of great streaming. I'm actually not sure if I can float this thing through an object. We're going to find out. 
You just restarted the chamber and one of the ice shield assholes didn't spawn in. Wait, what? Like, is he just permanently not there? Or fuck, I can't float it like that. Um, like, you just have to kill one less enemy or are you just screwed? Okay, so you can't do it through other objects. Good to know. Snowman method doesn't work through other objects. I kind of figured, but... I don't know how I feel about these things, like, going through the, like, the door itself going through the rocks, now that I look at it. Actually, now that I look at it, I don't know how I feel about this thing in general. Music vaguely reminds me of Final Fantasy music. You were just screwed, couldn't progress. Nice. Man, PS4 version, eh? Perfectly, perfectly no glitches in everything. Let's take a gander at how this looks. It looks like we've got floating rocks, so I'm gonna need to put some grass there or something. Also, nice tiny pebble rock. I've gotta put something there, that's fine. There's gonna be some things up there, that's fine. Obviously, stuff needs to go there. But, walking up it seems cool. There's this here, okay, it's good. <laughs> You come up the path to it. Yeah, it's so far so good. I'm, I'm fine with this so far. Uh, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna put here, though. Hmm. There's this, I guess most sensible thing to put there. Just, yeah, it's just one of them's fine. I don't think that's going to be too big of a deal. I kind of wish I could just sink that thing a little more. Um, okay, over here. We're going to put big-ass rock here. Are these things, I'm going to need to start getting more of these. Are these, like, king rocks or whatever? Are these things are great for this. Like, look at that. It just, it just works when it works. Hold on. It just works. Initiate Todd Howard not working. Obviously, they put all of their energy in optimizing the PS4 version. Not nah, look, all of that energy is going into the Switch version that we are inevitably going to get in, like, 2080. Nintendo, fuck. Nintendo Switch version. It's coming, I promise. And so does Mahoyo. They promised, okay? Nintendo Switch version is happening. I said I needed to put, like, a bush down here, and I think I still do. There. Something to kind of go along with that. Uh, 
Okay, what can we put up here, rock-wise? How about big boy rock? Uh, big boy rock just kind of seems unnecessarily mossy. You can't wait to see it on Switch if that's going to be like his PS4. Yeah, it's going to be worse than the PS4 for sure. That is going to be horrendous. Megu Kenki will freaking... You'll, you'll put it down and, like, it'll be like a freaking download. You'll have to wait for an update for Magu Kenki to freaking load into the abyss. Okay, so we've got that. Um, move you back over there. Still no idea where the hell I'm taking all of this, by the way. Like, I have, I have no idea where this build is going exactly. It's just kind of here. There's no real rhyme or reason to it, per se. I'm just kind of doing whatever. That's not very big. Holy shit, I kind of forgot I had... Ah, I forgot I had ones that were this incredibly small. That could have come in handy a bit. It might still actually be able to come in handy a bit. Oh, yeah, that's a bit of... That's a bit of niceness there. You know, I'm not sure if this is Enkonomiya music or Tsurumi music. Like, I, I legitimately cannot tell. Okay, this is what we're looking for. Theoretically, I could probably float the house and get rid of the thing in there. But I don't know if I want to do that just yet. I would do that for load limit purposes. Load limit would be the reason why that would, that would happen if I decide to go that direction. Because I don't have much other reason for it. That doesn't help us much. I guess we are back to this. We're gonna, we're gonna see what we can do with this here. Again, it might be better for me to just float everything to save load limit and then enclose it all in the long run. It's very likely that's how I'm gonna have to do it, because I can already, I can sense the load about to just be like, nope, no, Luigi.
Oh yeah, it still actually manages that. That's nice. Oh, this is definitely Tsurumi music. Yeah. Yeah, this this is Tsurumi. I recognize this. Tsurumi was such an interesting place. Like I actually I actually enjoyed it. I feel like a lot of people don't talk about Tsurumi Island and, and the things that were were going down there. Like it was just kind of like it's the forgotten place, which is kind of fitting because lore-wise it sort of is. But yeah, I feel like a lot of the player base just kind of forgot about Tsurumi as well. No idea what I'm doing with this rock right now. Maybe I don't do anything with this rock right now and I just wait. Okay, let's see what we got building-wise here. What, what Inazuma buildings do we got to work with? Um, I know we can do some very fun things with this. That's how I made those floors. Um, we've got bridges, so we can actually have, like, a zone that's floating there. Tsurumi, you barely even know. Wow. Wow. Very, very nice. Uh, yeah, I could see some potential for this. For floating this and having like a little pond maybe somewhere. I've done this before. It's just, I know this is going to take a lot of... A lot of load if I do that. I might do something other than a pond then. Well, first of all, I've got to float this bitch because the, the it clearly it ain't. Yaint. And this should be. Oh god, this is gonna be so much easier to float this stuff with um. With, uh, tea, uh, teapot, uh, snowman now. Before, this thing was such a pain in the ass to deal with floating. What I'm about to do. Uh, floating this was a massive ball ache. Mm. That might need to go a bit lower, actually. Just a little lower. Okay, move you out of the way. See ya! Actually, hold up. Can I with you? Yes. And you will be you will be better than with you. Peace. You're a little smaller width-wise and all around easier to use with this. Even though I don't have many of you, kinda, kinda need to be careful here. Hmm. 
Nice rotate, buddy. Man, I'm like probably nowhere near the load limit, yet I am already paranoid as hell about it. You know you like building in the teapot when the word load gives you, like, existential dread. This was not what I was originally planning on doing. Usually I use plants to cover up because you actually go down here. You can see through, as you see, they don't have an actual face down there because it would be... Generally speaking, for any sane person, pointless to have the face down there. It would just be an extra polygon. Um, but, Mahoyo didn't expect people, I guess, to be doing this stupid shit. So, we've got to deal with the fact that there's no face there. Could we please rotate? The way we're going to deal with that is a little bit of this because it adds some nice diversity and then we're gonna use these across the the, the path there which means i'm gonna grab you and you I'm just going to do that for now because I'm going to have to do... I'm going to have to bring uh, the snowman over here anyways, so... Mr. Snowman, I need your services. Now, previously, this was a massive pain in the ass to do, because you would always end up hitting the wrong thing. With our friend the snowman, however, this is going to be uh, exceptionally easy. At least I hope so. Yeah. I have no idea if this is level because I didn't check those levels before I went in here and uh, faffed about. That should be fine. What's the worst that could happen? Okay, even with the floating method, to get it to float, if you're clipping through something, you have to first go through the clipping method. There's like an order of operations. So you gotta go through the clipping method first, then the floating method, which is why, you know, you're still seeing me spaz out making it clip. Um, and then you can, uh, let me make that just a little better there. Okay, then you can try to aim at the right thing. There you go. I would think I was hitting the other thing and not it. Boom. There we go. Now we've got that covered up by those. And now we just need to do the same thing on the other side. So this seems to be 5.9 that we're doing this on. Okay, I have that in a really bad spot, clearly. That's 5.8, penis. We, we need it to be the same. Go. 
And now our snowman gives him some head. And I clicked out of the thing, so that might not be good. I might have goofed. Yeah, somehow I ended up, like, moving. The I did not mean to move that mouse. There we go. Should be good. Yep. We move him back out. Throw in this. That's 5.9 again. You know, all this stuff really just makes you wonder, like, why doesn't Mahoyo just let this stuff exist? Like, the clipping and stuff. Why do we have to go through all these, like, cockamamie freaking methods to do this stuff? Like, you know they have to be aware of it. They've had teapot building submissions and contests and stuff before. And you can bet your ass the people who submitted to those things freaking, uh... I'd used clipping and stuff, like a hundred percent. So it's like end of the maintenance and everything. Like, come on. Okay, so that's a little weird looking, but you aren't gonna notice it, and that's all that matters. So, shush and don't ask questions. And it looks cool to walk under for some reason. Not that there's anything there, but you know, it looks cool to do. And now it's daytime, and I generally prefer to do all of my stuff, my builds and stuff at night. They just, they just come out better that way. I feel like we could add, like, a little shrine over here. Kind of think what we can do shrine-wise. Ooh. I have an idea. I know for a fact that does not float properly. Um, maybe maintenance took so long because they couldn't figure out how to fix clipping about messing other stuff up and decided to, in the end it wasn't worth it. I mean, that is a possibility. It's not a possibility I like to think about because then that means that they are looking for the means of fixing clipping, and I don't like that. Um... I don't like that one damn bit, really. That's, uh, that's scary. The same with, like, that boulder being there. That's scary. Okay, good. There you go. That's right. We don't want the actual teleporter. We just want... We just want these little pillars here. Teleporter? Nope. Pillars? Yep. Uh, I'm just gonna do that for a moment. I can always move this big boulder here and, and access all of this snowman style, so I'm not too concerned about anything. As of right now, I could also put that there if I wanted to in the middle. Um, hmm. There's that, which seems pretty damn fitting. Um, what else can we put there? Uh, building Inazuma stuff. This is kind of where I was expecting to go with this. Now, can I actually clip through this? I legitimately don't think I can. I think they... See, and this is strange, because some things you clearly can't clip through at all. Like, you cannot clip 
this. Like I, I can I cannot clip this thing. Um the elevator. Whoops. I need this one. Which is, is very baffling to me that they have some things that are clearly unclippable while other things, you know. Clip it up, chief. See, now this won't matter because I'm technically, even though it is clipping, I am technically not clipping the elevator itself. I am clipping something totally different. Take a gander at how it looks. We'll, we'll take the scenic route. After all, that's why we're here, for the scenes. That random rock there is annoying me. I'm not going to mess with it, but it is kind of annoying me. Flying snowman. We've got a little shrine over here. Elevator doesn't activate. That's good. Because I definitely wouldn't want that. And now, if we think about it, we can put, like, some torches or something on top of those pillars there. And I think I know just the thing to do with it. Alternatively, they just don't think it's a priority. Possible. Since it doesn't hurt anyone and it lets people make nice things. True. I mean, but it does theoretic. Uh, no, not really. I was going to say load limits and, you know, getting free resin or whatever. But it's like, God, that's such a minute thing. Uh, is it landscape? Which ones? Now, I could put lanterns there. I could put the candles there. Wasn't there the legitimate torches, or is that an outdoor furnishing? Or is that courtyard? It's hard to keep track of where everything is. I know there's, like, legitimate torches somewhere. Is it this stuff? Yeah, there's this. These are legitimate torches I could theoretically have up there. I know I'm not gonna be not gonna be able to but can, can I just thank you I know I'm not gonna be able to do it here properly because again clipping through this but so that's roughly where it would need to be. 8.1 is where I need to put that. Okay. But is there anything I could put there for the... This one, move. Now, again, I have a general idea of where that stuff is just because of, uh... The position of this. I think it was about there, which is not particularly reassuring now that I think about it. Um... 
Yeah, now I think about it, this is not going to be particularly accurate, is it? We're going to have to find some way to, like, measure this. Oh, f fuck, I hope I didn't mess up snowman method here. I don't... Ooh, ooh, ooh. I think that's good. Yes. Might be a little off centered, but not too bad. Uh, let me see what it looks like again. Oh, wait, am I gonna have to like light this bitch on fire? fire it up. Oh, I can't. Oh, well, fuck that, then. Well, if it ain't gonna be on fire, then I don't give a damn. Yeah, mo. Definitely not worth it, then. If it ain't gonna be on fire, then there's, there's no point to this. This is just silly. Yeah, no fire for you, Luigi. Lamps, maybe. Maybe we'll go with lamps. Maybe I'll go with plants. It's another option here. I'm gonna put this back to where it was. Um, kind of. It should be good. Uh, I'm gonna see if maybe the is it landscape plants? Yeah, maybe these things. Are they tall enough to just not need to float? No, they definitely need to float. There is the lamp option. There's these lamp, these lamps, which wouldn't be too bad. Uh, they would certainly fit. Just kind of wish I didn't have to like, you know, measure everything so precisely here. For someone who does not plan things out, measuring is anathema to me. Yeah, anathema is such a weird word because you'd think there should be an article before it since it's a noun, but there isn't. There's no article before that word. And yet we can't actually clip this, can we? No. Really hope I have that lined up correctly, because boy, do I not remember. Who oh boy, do I not remember. Oh, guess who also didn't fix the Mr. Snowman? No idea if that's even floating now. I need to lift Snowman, bro. I probably didn't even float that. Oh, I did. Never mind. Never mind, crisis averted. This should be good enough. This is a lot of effort for something that probably... I, I bet you this thing takes a metric shit ton of load, now that I think about it. No, fuck this. 
Now that I'm thinking about it, no way in hell. That thing's gonna take so much load because of the freaking elevator. No. No, what am I- why am I even doing that? That is a silly idea, to say the least. We have things like this that can work perfectly fine. Or just, I don't know, candles. That offer no light whatsoever. After all that, it was the, the experience of it. Yeah. That's, uh, that's why we did it. That experience. Hmm. Could just have the thing glow on its own like it's radioactive. You know, I actually don't mind to just not click. I was about to say, do I only have one of those? Yeah, it doesn't need to clip. An offering to the plant god here. Okay, and what else can we put around here? Really getting all in on this decoration that might not be good because of load again. And like literally no idea if this is going to, to do what it needs to do. I can technically put these flowers down here and have like a little Sakura bush. That's kind of pretty. Yeah, let's roll over that once I clip this bitch. like the idea of it coming out of those things, which is kind of annoying me. I guess there isn't really much of a choice here. Sakura I can use? Well, I can use this, which is just big Sakura. Congrats. Now everything is tree. You've entered the dendro mode. like I'm making a grave or something. Like, this isn't just a shrine. This, somebody's dead. Do we have any pretty rocks that we can put over here? Just some real, like, attractive... You're big. You're an attractive rock, kind of. 
but you don't really fit anywhere nicely. You do. Oh my god, turn fucking blue, please. Thank you. Not bad, not bad. We just have to deal with this angle. But you know, maybe, maybe this deals with this angle. Uh, this might solve the this angle for us. What did I say about it being nighttime? Dang, there goes there, there goes that soundtrack. On on to the next one. Really just uh working through them here. Wait, why is it playing all the way over? Get the hell back over there. There we go. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. We're going to need an emergency rock right over here. Maybe a, maybe a... Is this the big one or is this the small one? That is the small one. There, that'll work. When in doubt, your trusty friend's emergency rocks. They come in handy. On an emergency. Oh, that's a small bush. I need something a little oomphier. Uh, it looks cool, but no. tricky to get something to go with the like the pink sakura stuff down here outside of just like going with i suppose the maple look i mean you can really use these bushes also to make like fake maple leaves if you sink them into the ground and like have them around a maple tree 
It's a, uh, it's a pretty nice little trick to do. Actually, now that I think about it, this probably would have been better. Or have just gone with the, the Sakura again. That's not the Sakura. I don't know what the hell that is. Let's take a gander, see what it looks like. Why the hell are we over here? Not too bad. Not too shabby here. It's it's cozy for sure. It is it is very cozy. Gives you a nice view of the sea too. What kind of one do we want here? We go for a real nice, just floral one there. I don't think I've done this one yet. Yeah, I think this one's new. Okay, front left. How about we do a front center? What's the main front center one? Lotus? We can go with Lily. Or the sunflower. I haven't done sunflower yet. Maybe that'll be cool, having a sunflower there. And then over here, we can go for, like, medium fox there. To the right, maybe. Uh... Mm, maybe medium plume? I think I like the short plume, too. Back left can be a taller plume. Back right can be maybe another medium of that. And then it's just back center. And now, you know what? What if... Kind of cool. A little lopsided, maybe. And what is it? Back left of this one. What if we make you the other? Okay, that's a little better. And then if we've got front right is this. What if I change front right to you and then front left can be this. Not that bad, maybe. No, you definitely need to be medium. I really should not be getting so into, like this just messing around with plants like this there, there's no reason for it really i mean this does look pretty cool i like that well i should probably respond to this person no toma don't sit there and try cutting it down Now we just need the walkway there. Uh, huh. Actually, I wonder. Looking at it. That actually wouldn't look too bad either. Let me just make sure it's not interfering. Fearing. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad like that. And now we grab 
the walkway. No, not the rock. God damn it. I need walkways. One of the best songs of all of Inazuma. Hey Ty, welcome. We're doing uh some teapot building. We we finished uh God, I love this song so much. This is such a good song. Um We did fun, fun EM spiral abyss uh, stuff earlier with with Kuki. It actually wasn't that bad, mostly because Yolan's team carried us through space and time. Let's be real. Um, but it, 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 viable, you can do it with good enough carry. You just got out of work. How'd that go? Uh, This is the world's weirdest fucking walkway I've ever seen. You know what? That doesn't look too bad. He loves sitting, testing games, very enjoyable. What exactly does that entail? Like, like, what is that? even like look like oh this looks nice okay i i didn't completely screw up this walkway this isn't too bad maybe another little small rock right there I, I, have you decided to clip through walls yet like i'm still waiting for the i clip through a wall you know thing because god knows that's what i'd be doing that that is what i am good at in video games. I've found my calling in video games, clipping through walls. You can play the game for now, you're just doing a playthrough and nothing and nothing bugs and blockers. You're just hmm. You clip through streets many times. Oh that's ought to be fun. As long as you're able to, you know, replicate them, and you're doing your job well. I feel like if things like that were available to me, you know, I would definitely consider doing them. Eh, it's not too bad looking. needs one last thing and I just kind of figured out what it needs right there a bench where the fuck did you put that don't put it in the bush or we need a little a little bench here nice you had one bug was that was save specific to your save and was unprodu uh unreproducible interesting I mean, well, if it's specific to the save, like, what... You'd have to figure out what's wrong with the code, wouldn't you, to make it happen to a save? Because what if it happens to saves other than yours later on? Um, why are two of these here? What the hell was I doing with that? Okay. So we've got that. That's nice. I did say I want to make this, like, a village, right? So I should probably consider putting in some buildings. It'd be nice. Oh my, you are big. And moderately pointless. Is 
Especially since I have nowhere over here to do anything clipping-wise. And I really have to make sure I keep this zone safe. Oh yeah, this thing can't because I need I need to float this is what I need to do. I wonder if I can Oh god damn it snowman, you're not in the right spot. I need to pull you over here. See, I feel like in the current game, like, maybe it won't work because I can't clip it through the main house. Well, that might be what's actually going on. I feel like in the current, like, at least how the game industry is over here, I feel like you're not apt to get a game job for what you're doing unless you already know, like the coding and stuff like that so because you don't want to just be a one kind of job person oh i can only do testing like you want to be able to do like a bunch of other things or at least oh yeah this isn't gonna work because it's clipping through this i need this actually on its own little floaty platform here then i can uh... That's going to be what I like to call an absolute bitch. It might not be doing it just because it actually does need to be floating here. Oh, I really don't... I, I know why it's doing this, because it's partly off of... The th How about we just say, fuck that building? I didn't have such requirements. You even told them that you have no experience, but you're eager to learn from them, and you got accepted and can just made loads of training. Well, I mean, as long as they're... Tra what the hell did I just cl uh, click on? As long as they're training you. Yeah, that's also always something to consider. Free training is pretty good. Okay, I'm going to move that back. We're going to throw this house out because it's too damn big but this one this is like a shop uh, how do i want to deal with this I feel like there's a lot that I can do with this if I float a lot of objects up there. It's just a matter of, do I want to float a lot of objects up there? And the answer is probably no. And the answer is almost certainly no. Inazuma has some sucky houses. My god. What the hell is this? Okay, do we have houses that are smaller, perhaps? What are these Watatsumi houses, it looks like? Yeah, see, this is acute. You gotta find an employer like that. Yeah, tell anyone in America where to find an employer like that. We'll, we'll be happy to work for that. So clipping is still a thing. Oh, clipping is still a thing. Oh, we can also float things using a snowman now. Like, yeah. Yeah, the three weeks of maintenance, um, not really sure what they did. 
Still trying to figure that out, what all they did. Um, if I do find something, I don't think I... Did I fucking clip this properly? Yeah, yeah, it's clipped properly. It's just... It's just all the other shit. Uh, what else can we do here? Okay, that's that same house. I feel like I'm not going to have enough walkway for this. One has a lot of great labor laws for employees and some good jobs if you know where to look. Yeah, well, that also makes me wonder what the pay is. Holy fuck, how big... Oh, cool, I can just put fucking Tenshu Kashu in the freaking thing. Yeah, I'll just put that right up in there. Put a whole ass watchtower up in this. Actually, not entirely a bad idea if done correctly. I feel like I could swing that somehow. I, I gotta think where I want to put this, but I feel like I, I can definitely do this. How, I'm not entirely sure, but I could totally do it. You can't talk about your pay, but you're very satisfied with it. Yeah, I mean, if it's good, it's good. Though that's also interesting. Can you not talk about your pay because of legal stuff, or like you just don't want to? Um... Both are fine. Well, the legal stuff actually isn't. In fact, I think in America, there's actually laws against them stopping you from talking about your pain. Did this music just get fucking louder, or is it just me? The legal stuff, it's in your contract. You see, that, I think, is actually, at least in America, illegal. Like, you are under no obligation to, like, not be able to talk about your pay. There's a lot of, a lot of shits involved with that. I mean, it doesn't stop employers from doing it anyways because they're penises, but... Um, I, I want to find a place where I can put this. This, I, ooh, idea. Put it down here. You don't really mind, so you're fine with it. Yeah, it's, again, it's to each their own. I'm not, like, trying to pressure you into anything, so. I, I was just curious about it. No ass hat. What if we... Hmm. I don't like that's position, but I like the idea of what I'm doing here. That's just too damn low at that point. What's out in this way? The sea. Maybe we can do something with that? You can't talk about things you're testing, your pay are obviously sensitive info. Yeah, obviously stuff like that. No, trust me, I I know DMCA not DMCA, um NDA uh, contracts. I've I've dealt with those before. Let's just put it like that. I'm not unfamiliar with them. How the hell do I want to play? I like the idea of having this. I just need to know where the hell I want to place it. Hmm. 
Hmm. Maybe in this little, like, nook and cranny over here? First time for you in fad is your first uh, a job in your life, so you don't know yet what's obviously and what is not. I mean, yeah, you're enjoy your time right now. I'm not. If you're enjoying it and you're making money and it isn't like a scam, then that is, you know, that's the thing that matters. I have definitely seen some questionable contracts in my time. Incidentally, all of them coming from China. Um, I had an opportunity to teach in China and, um, when there was a clause about, this is what happens if we don't pay you on time, um, I quit and take the first flight back to America? Like, wh what do you mean if you don't pay me on time? You're giving yourself a free month of not paying me? Fuck you, no. Um, n no. Uh, yeah, there were some very interesting things in that contract. Uh, needless to say, didn't do it. I know, shocker, but yeah. Wasn't down the clown with that. Oh, look, oh, you can make the little. That's cool. Hmm. Talk about it more, you're invested now. No, it was really, it was, it, that was one of the main things. The, the contract was sketchy. The dude who was involved with it was, like, the principal of the school seemed like he did not. First, I remember being on an interview with him, and this dude. Man, this is all sorts of scuffed. I like the idea of having it here, but this is, this is getting scuffed. Um... The dude, like, when on the interview, it was a Skype interview. Um, the guy, by the way, I had to make, like, a new Skype so that I couldn't use the one that was associated with my stream at the time. Um, I was not going to risk that. The dude gets into a call and then just goes fucking AFK for, like, 10 minutes. I was convinced that he did that as, like, some sort of test to see what the hell I would do. Joke's on him. I have multiple monitors, so I just looked over at my other one non-stop, and that was it. So he didn't get to see me do anything, if that's what the, the, the purpose of it was. Um, but yeah, it was just like, okay. It was so fucking weird. The dude, I initially didn't want the contract, and then I did, and then he like, this is, it was a weird thing. And once I actually read it, I was just like, no, no, no fucking no, no way. Not to mention, then I did an interview with, like, the people who worked there, and I swear all of them looked like they were being held hostage. Like, they were smiling, like, yay, nice, whatever, and I'm just, like, I'm looking at them. And you can tell that they can tell that I know something isn't right, and it's like, I don't like this. And they were all foreigners. Like, no, well, there was a couple of native Chinese people there, I think, but most of them were foreigners. Um, oh, cool fucking load. Um... So yeah, it was uh, it was like, mm, I don't know. Why were you in China? I wasn't in China. I didn't go. Uh, I initially when I went to study English, I studied about te what the fuck is going on there. I studied to teach English in a foreign country, not in America, because uh, yeah, well, clearly we know how fun that fucking is. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Really? Oh, I have gotta test this out. Okay, sure, the leg of it is clipping through the wall a little bit, but you can legit sit there. Hold up. This is so barren. Ah. Uh. K. 
Okay, we've got the watchtower up here. That's not bad. The watch snowman. I mean, the snowman does take up a lot of load. You want to do a lot of your floating early on because that is how much load snow bro takes up. Oh, yeah, we can sit here at this table. Okay, I have got to deal with whatever the hell that clipping is because that is going to drive me nuts. That is this thing, I think. Um, this is going to end up pulling things down like a lot, isn't it? Which one is it? Oh, this one, okay. No, it's not this one. Not that one. This one. Who the hell are you? Oh shit, I need it again. Kind of this one? What the fuck? You know what? Fuck it, I can't figure it out. No... There's a huge, uh, Valorant billboard by the Central Pull-In Railroad Station. God help. I feel bad for you. Get off of it. We're, we're, we're covering that up, by the way. I'm figuring out a way to do that, and I've got an idea if I can find it. My initial idea was slap a well there. Probably just gonna cause more problem. This billboard looks neat though. Yeah, but it's Valorant. That, that's why I'm saying I'm I feel sorry for you because it's Valorant. Definitely not a game I'm into. But I think most people know I'm not overly a fan of shoot. Okay, let's deal with this. Valorant is a cool game. You don't like to play it much, but it's cool. And it just seemed like, isn't it basically just CSGO, but with Overwatch abilities, pretty much? But that's what it seemed to be to me. Again, I'm no expert. I've only seen a little bit of it here or there. That's not really helping, is it? That isn't too bad. Maybe. Let's get into a position where I can clip it in there, and then we'll kind of position it from there. Not too bad. Uh, there's that one LED billboard by the station. That thing shines so bright. If you didn't look up to see what time of the day it was, you'd swear it was day. Uh, you know, at least it's not in front of your house. That's always a blessing. You could always have one of those things right in front. I have a blue light, like a blue street light, literally right outside of my window. I've never seen a blue street light before. But there it is, just being blue. I feel like I'm going to get load limit cucked hard because I'm not planning this very much. Everything's kind of spread out. There's a lot that I'm trying to do. This is not going to be a particularly amazing build. I can already feel it. Like, there's too much shit going on. Not to mention I have very few of these pathways left. 
not enough really to do what I want, that's for damn sure. I, I'm 100% gonna get cucked here. Tell me more about sketchy work experiences you had. You're all ears. Um, oh, I worked for what I would believe was a fucking cult. That was a thing. Like, someone bought the wrong bulb by accident. Yeah. Yeah, I worked for a place that I'm pretty sure was just a fucking cult. Well, that was an experience that I never want to have again. Like... The way that they explained money and, like, finances, it was like, this is obviously some sort of complete bullshit. Like, if you know anything about money, you know that's not how that works. Um, but also, it was one of those situations where it's like, you, you go there and... You know how companies have, like, that corporate culture type of stuff where you... You, you do the, the, the corporate team building this, that, or the other? Well, they put the fucking cult in corporate culture. Because it was like, we, we had to sit there and be like, what was it? First in the field, first to make money. That was their chant that they did. By the way, I came on that job for being a PR representative, like online PR. Their application online was for online PR, like social media. And I applied for that. Um, I was in fucking Walmart, like, selling body comfort, whatever the fuck that is, to people. That's what position they put me in. I was like, that's not what I applied for. And that's when I got really sick. Like, really sick. I think I actually had COVID before COVID was even officially in America, because I had all the damn symptoms of COVID, but COVID theoretically wasn't here until 2020, and this was 2019. Um, but COVID existed in 2019, so, you know, I don't know. Um, but yeah, that was a rough fucking time, like, out there trying to sell that bullshit. Like, I am not a person to, to put out in, in front of people, like, really. E even teaching can be rough with me, because I'm just not a social individual. You know, despite you seeing me on stream, that's, that's different. But you're not actually seeing me on stream, you're... Just hearing my terrible voice. Um, but yeah, that was a situation where they gave you, like, a script. And you had to memorize every word on it and repeat it. And do, like, very specific hand motions and shit, too. It was just disgusting. Like, everything about it was disgusting. And they had me driving, like, every which way throughout the fucking state just to get to these places to sell their their fucking shit in a walmart like it was ugh. It, it was some some hot fucking garbage is what it was do you love my voice i don't know if i believe that um because I despise my voice, and every time I have to listen to it when I'm making recordings, I'm just like, could you learn how to speak, like, ever? Man, you literally deal with public speaking in your job as a teacher, and you can't fucking open your mouth and make a coherent, decently presented sentence to save your life without fucking stuttering or pausing like you're trying to enotate things like Barack Obama. You're, you're not that. So naturally, I hate the way that I sound. Um, this pathway looks nice, though. Got a little way up there. Just got that. That's gonna <laughs> piss me off. Ad infinium. Um, that's gonna need something. And now we need to get the fuck up here. You're doing fine. I feel like I only do fine when I get angry at something. Sup, Tubby. We're definitely going to hit this damn load limit. Every time it goes yellow, it just scares me. I could have a long way away, but I'm still scared of this load limit. Could we not snap everything? Thanks, man. I'm about to snap you. Insurance person is basically having a war with your voice, so you get you. Um, it's interesting. I actually saw this video a long time ago of, um, 
I don't know. I, I'm gonna fucking butcher this because I I don't know like the trans directions here. A trans a a guy who transitioned to be a woman is that a trans woman? I don't or is that a trans man? I don't fucking know. I don't know the directions of this stuff. I had trans students and I literally can't tell you like how that directionally what you do trans I think trans woman this person would open her mouth and you could not tell like she learned how to basically like when you swallow as a guy when you swallow you have your Adam's apple right well if you hold your your hand over it you can feel it when you swallow retract into your throat that's an involuntary muscle going on there um, this person learned to make it voluntary and was able to naturally raise the octave of their voice by, like, two or three octaves and sound very much female. Like, nailed it, like, perfectly. Um, what the hell did I just click on? I wanted to save that. There we go. Um, and, and so that was, to me, just looking at it from a voice acting perspective was just like, holy shit, that's impressive. Like, it really was something. What's not impressive is all this clippy shit going around that is gonna drive me nuts. Um, I'm about to slap some emergency flowers in here to try to make it work. But yeah, that to me was like really cool that they were able to do that. And I really wanted to learn how to do it. Um, I basically, you just have to like forcefully try to hold your damn Adam apple like close to your 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 uh your throat while you swallow and stuff it doesn't sound like a pleasant process to be honest that's probably gonna look a little jank Top to your voice acting. Exactly. It's like, holy shit. Like, that person definitely could do some serious voice acting. But yeah, I, I would recommend that video, and if you could ever find it, I don't remember the name of it, but I would highly recommend that if you're, like, wanting to work on changing your voice. Um, because that is, it was just super impressive how this person was able to do it. Like, really impressive. Definitely recommend that. What else can we put here? We've been putting a lot of natural shit here. Um, I feel like we could try to make this space feel more lived in. I don't know how the hell I'm going to do it. Again, This I should really plan this stuff out more. I, I don't have much in terms of planning. Oh, hilly churl fences. Hmm. Yeah, that'll definitely do it. When in doubt, hilly churls. No idea what that does to the load limit, by the way.
still get a deal of what's going on up here. So far, I have a small house, a thing, and, um, yeah, this is not really coming out to be a village, is it? So that was false advertising. Um, hmm. I might still be able to rectify this, maybe. By the power of bullshit. Huh. I feel like everything in these are just like super load heavy. Because the second we put down this thing, it was just like tee hee grip load. I feel like these are just like the omega fuck you load. And I'm not down the clown of those. Oh, yeah, that, that definitely looks right. Mm. Definitely doesn't look weird at all. God, I need this here, else we're not getting in the door. So, um, trees are gonna be needed there. like cover that whole damn thing with a big ass tree or something I know that tree takes up a lot of load which is why I'm not opting to necessarily put it there we got another idea equally as stupid by the way Slap that there. Mm -hmm. I feel like we just finished this album. Yep. Music officially gone. Let's see if I have any more loaded up. Um. Oh yeah, that's... Battle music. Um, hmm. No, 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 no. Uh, 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 this. There we go. This song sounds very familiar to something else, and I can't place it. Like, there's quite a few Genshin songs that are, are a bit similar to other songs, like the Dawn Winery is similar to uh, Green Sleeves. Holy shit.
Uh, that's right, folks. We are creating a little cavern here. You're back. You randomly got an Australian guy on the... Or you met an Australian guy on the street and gave him directions and we chatted while going by the tram. Well, that's cool. That's certainly a, uh, quite a, a thing to have happen. Not my best and most beautiful build, by any means. Just, just, just saying. We are not winning any beauty or pageant awards for this build. rare for you to meet foreigners uh, yeah, around the city, so it was nice. Unless you're speaking about people from Ukraine, you get plenty of those. Uh, well, I bet now, yeah, unfortunately, due to everything that's going on. Okay, I can work with this. We just gotta clip it. Well, we're about to get the most intense and, um music for teapot building ever. Swear that changed colors a little bit. Maybe that or I'm just paranoid. I'm probably just paranoid. If I do this, then I don't need the other cliff there. I don't need you there. If I do this, I do not need that there. And I'm probably going to do this. There you go. I have no idea what you just put in the YouTube. What, what be it? You did a song request. Oh, did you? Shit, did I even have that active? I didn't even know I had that active right now. Fuck. Let me humor myself and my audio stuff a minute. I'm going to mute that audio real quick. And see what it is.
gonna say no to it simply because the remix is something and um teensy issue that i see i'm getting really worried about like copyright stuff even with like remixes and things like that that people do um wait is this music going on okay there it goes I, I'm, I, it's just, it, a lot of this stuff, the reason why I'm doing, like, Genshin music, for example, is I know Mahoyo does not go copyright happy with music being played on streams. Like, it, it's gotten just risky of recent with that stuff. Like, really just risky. Um, and that's, that's kind of why I'm just like, eh. I'm very hesitant with it nowadays. Um... Uh, we were talking a little bit earlier about, like, the good old days when you could do song requests, and it could be anything. It could be, like, you know, I used to sit here and play Franz Ferdinand on stream loads of times. Like, I loved, that was, like, my go-to intro music was Franz Ferdinand, of all things. Um, I feel like there's just one random-ass maple tree, like, thematically, these trees don't make a damn bit of sense. Like, I got this shit everywhere, and not in a good way. Did someone say copyright? A TPC has entered the chat. Who the fuck is TPC? You know who I know who loves to copyright every music on the planet, even if it isn't music of their own? Latin Autor. The one and fucking only. Oh, Pokemon Company. Oh, oh, the Pokemon. Oh, you should have just said Game Freak. And then we could talk about how they know your kinks. Are you guessing Nintendo would it be more appropriate? Yeah, Nintendo is pretty big on that, too. You requested a Genshin, then? When? Hold up. Let me, let me see in a minute once I... Okay. Why not? That rock looks cute there. As long as it isn't like Genshin Remix. Um, hold on, I'm going to mute it again just to be sure. I've got to be super careful with this shit nowadays. Oh. Monstat music. It's been a while since I've heard this stuff. Okay. Mm. I love this OST. It's just, it's easy to forget about, like, the early Genshin OSTs, man. Like, they're all good, but it's so easy just to forget about them. I remember a lot of the early, like, the early music sitting there thinking, like, damn, this sounds really Breath of the Wild. Like, can I fucking please clip this rock? Oh, my God. Cool, I can clip out of the fucking game. That's nice. But yeah, it's just really easy to forget about the the old uh like Monstat OSTs. Those were the those were the good old days back in the day. This is such a nightmare. Why did I think this was going to come out right? Like, I, I... I always want to build, like, impressive, beautiful villages, and then I realize, bitch, you ain't got the load for that. Speaking of, I don't have the rocks for this. I've got to make this trail go all the way up. I should have been buying more rocks.
I'm going to hold off on that one for variety's sake. You think also Riot doesn't? Yeah, but I'm not a big fan of Riot. <laughs> to be honest with you, I'm just not a huge fan of Riot or their music, really. To be entirely honest, Riot does not do anything for me. Because what what is Riot? Riot is just like what? League? Like, name me anything else they're fucking known for other than League. I, I, I can't think of anything. What else does Riot do? Valorant. Oh, oh. Is that known for its amazing musical score? Like... Say what you want about Genshin, and there's a lot, I'm sure, that people can bitch about with Genshin. You take even the largest Genshin hater and give them this soundtrack, if they have any degree of, like, intellectual honesty, they will have to admit there's at least something on here, soundtrack-wise, that they like. Like, Genshin's soundtrack is second to none. Like, it really is up there. Here, have a random rock there because I don't want to put another one of these. Okay, I know what I need to do here. Again, very intense teapot building going on here, clearly. We, we, we are getting like the boss fight of teapot this this music should just be default when you're building in the teapot and you're getting close to the load limit it boss music should just start playing the game just recognizes that the stress is incoming that and when you're clearly running out of the items you need for this build okay this needs to come out more I just realized, did you, like, request another thing and I totally fucking blinded on it? Uh, you also think Riot's music is amazing. As for multiplayer games, um, company, their music is amazing. Like how they came up with KDA. Okay, so they have, like, random K-pop-inspired shit. Um, but I'm not into K-pop. The fuck is this? Okay, so we've got a random curvy staircase that I wasn't intending on actually having, but it's there. Um, quick, emergency maple tree. One of the things I think is very smart to do, which I clearly have not been doing very well with, is to pick, like, one to two types of trees and just use that only. Because it's better for load, and it's also better thematically. Unfortunately, I've picked one, two, three, four, five types of trees, which is stupid. And not fuck. And not at all what you want to do. Uh, yeah, you definitely don't want to do that. There are always T's for champs are amazing. Always T's for, I have no idea what the hell that is. Uh, feel very unique. Maybe. Maybe I'm just a disgruntled boomer who is just, like, unwilling to, to change. I'm about to have emergency shroom placement to cover that up. Oh, 
no, never mind. This rock will do the trick. Very low on these. I was clear. This is another reason why we're not getting another Genshin stream for a while. At least until 2.8. Because I clearly can't do much more in the teapot. I'm running woefully low on materials. I did not mean to fuck. I did not mean to actually place that thing there. Um... Fuck it, I guess we'll just go with it for now. I wouldn't be surprised that there's already a quote that is that, honestly. Like, I just would not be surprised. I feel like that's something that I probably said a th What? I probably said a thousand times. Okay, this is what we want, right? Like, knowing me and all of the very questionable things that I say on a daily basis. play that last song. Oh, shit. You requested something? You have to realize I am blind as well. Um, okay, let me pull this back then to this one. What is this and why am I could... Uh, hey, this is fucking copyright shit. Okay, it has download the music there, so I doubt they're gonna copyright it. Uh... It sounds, I was going to say vaguely Arabian inspired. It almost sounds like Dragon Age music. do this very well, are you? Okay, I'm gonna have to... Oh my god, is there anywhere where I can clip this bitch? Please. Snowman, please save me. Oh, Snowman will free up a lot of load when we get rid of him. Are you shitting me? Oh, it's because of the house being there. Okay. Yeah, that's gonna be a problem then, isn't it? I like it. It's not bad. Like I'll, I'll, I'll give it a chance and say that it's not, it's not terrible. Again, I like its inspirations. I do tend to like what I think is aiming for more of it, like a, again, an Arabian kind of feel, and I do tend to like that style of music. Um. I'm not liking what's going on here. I'm going to have to m either move this house or rethink how everything is positioned. You think you might have found a new hiding spot, but you're uncertain of the legality of it. Are you over there playing hide and seek? Did, did Kyoko sit there and like force you into hide and seek again? Because she did that with... Uh, 
talking to me and like a couple of other people just the other day. That was um, an experience. And it was Monstant again. It's kind of meant to represent magic forests that are dying because the people of the forest. Oh, um, again, it's if I'm probably just dumb bitching, but it sounds mildly Arabian to me. No, you're just running around practicing. Oh, practicing. Dear God. Yeah, I'm going to have to let Kyoko know to call you in for the hide-and-seek business and spare me. I, I am happy to to, to, to be spared of, of that. Mm-hmm. 100% do not need me there, you know. I have to do the smaller one for this. It may be Arabian inspired. Um, I, I I don't know. I it, it sounds mildly Arabian inspired, but I'm no expert on Arabian music either. So, but yeah, it wasn't too bad. I think I can slap the house back in, spl uh, in place now. In place. I can smack it back in space. I kind of feel like that could, should be concealed more, because it's supposed to be like hidden village, but... I don't know. I'm beginning to think I can probably get rid of him there, too. Oh, God. We have to cover this up. Definitely want this stuff pretty much covered here. And it probably seems silly to go out of my way so much to do this, but I guess I'm a silly bitch. They're showing me new spots. Oh, you found... You found n new hiding spot friends? God help. Oh, no, I just saw that load limit hit red. Oh, no. No, please. Don't do it to me. Don't. 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 It was just a rock. It was just a, just a prank, bro. Just a prank, bro. It's just a prank, bro. Just a fucking prank, bro. Don't do it. Man. This happy music is is going to be the antithesis to my pain here in a moment. Come on, just get over there and leave me of some load, damn it. Damn, that escalated quickly. Whew, okay. What do we need that's low load and we can work with it here? I like this. I like this idea. I 
about... I saw the wheelbarrow thing. Where was that? I'm blinding on something. Where was it? It's the harp. Hell no. It was like a wheelbarrow thing around here somewhere. It wasn't outdoor furnishing, I don't think. Sure as hell wouldn't make sense to be. So it had to be like this? Wasn't that. Yeah, very, very intense teapotting music here. Not that. Where the hell is this wheel? It's not this wheelbarrow either. It's the Inazuma wheelbarrow. But I'm blinding the hell on where it is. It's not in this, because those are lights. Those are configurable things. This is a fucking rock. I, out, it's got to be outdoor furnishing, right? I, the courtyard? Where the fuck is this thing? How is it that I always just lose where stuff is? Is it oh it's this. There you go. Found it. You're not gonna let me place that, you son of a never mind, yes you will. Let me just double check that every place is covered. Everything's covered. It's just the decorations on this part. Going up here. This is, is mighty vacant. Okay, we know Tubby goes there, so it's going to be hard to get anything there. Um... Yeah, I knew it wasn't going to let me do that. Oh. Are we just going to have to, like, flower it out? Like... Oh, you penis. I think it's gotta be It's gotta be these things, right? It's gotta be just flowers We gotta just flower it out Oh my god Like this is the only option I have I've gotta just find a bunch of plants And things that are very low load and just spam them at this point. Yeah, I can't place that there because of the tubby. Lost where it went. Still so much I want to place, asshole. Oh, I can't even place a shroom. We, we have clearly maximized the load. I can't place a rock. I can't place a shroom. N nothing. Nothing can be placed anymore. We have... Oh, shit. Let's, let's, let's take a look here. Let me 
It's, it's, a, it's a nice area for sure. Oh, there's just like... So, it's so barren when you use cliffs. I wish they'd give us grassy cliffs or something. Like, this just feels so barren. This rock feels so out of place. Just like, and here is a rock. I mean, it has a lot of pretty views, though. Like, you view over the ocean here, the view from here, even though you could totally fall off, which is a problem. Genshin would crash and the servers would burn if they had an, to animate every a single blade of grass on these cliffs. I mean, I think they'll be fine, considering. Like, grass animations, while certainly they can be heavy, I feel like over the years we've learned to optimize them in modeling and things. I mean, it looks really pretty. Again, heavy as hell in terms of the load, though. That's probably my biggest issue, is that a lot of people who make really good teapot builds, really detailed stuff, they know how to use the very low load limit stuff. I don't know what the low load limit stuff is. I need to bring up a, a list, a chart, and just prioritize... Well, don't fall down the damn stairs there, Cookie. Um, and prioritize using things of diminutive load. Why do you think they had weeks of maintenance? They tried to add grass. Shit, I don't know what the hell they did. I think they had weeks of maintenance to tell the teapot mains to go touch grass. Look at this. Look how empty that is. Oh, that's depressing. Depressing. I didn't even get a walkway to this house. Uh, nice. No penis. No penis. Sorry, I like you, but I need to take you. We gotta make do of what we've got here. Sacrifices are gonna need to be made. God, that looks so empty now. There. Problem solved. Just, just utilizing the resources better. Kind of. Oh, I wish I could shove a fucking tree there. Why, Mahoyo? Why? Why can I not put a tree here? Oh, it's so depressing. Look at it. Look how empty it is. <laughs> what the hell are you doing?
Yeah, I'm really gonna need to look up some, like, teapot stuff. Again, I like going up here. Walking up here is very nice. Like, the walk is nice. I feel like, also, if I could, like, compress everything and make it all a little closer together, it would feel more whole. But, at the same time, everything else would be smushed, or would just be empty out there. This looks really nice. This came out well. Like, really well. This depressing open area. I hate it so much. But I need to have this here, else you can get in there and off of that angle. And I need... I don't know. This is sadness. And this area, also, just empty. This I could live with, maybe. It's not fun, but it, it's there. Play the song you requested. I think this thing is about to... Yeah, this is the last song on this one. So after this one. This is the last song on this playlist here. But yeah, this is... This is this area, which I guess is done. Maybe I'll find a way to make it better, but... I don't know. It's a good exercise in walkways. Then there's a few other areas that we have, though, to look at. I still haven't done anything with... Oh, yeah, this penis is here. Um, where's my teleporter for here? Pretty sure I had a teleporter here. Hold up. Because that's how I got to the other area quickly. Yeah, this area definitely had a teleporter before. Um, hmm. I forgot Teapot Man is here today. Wrong button, penis. Bird? The one before you. Ah. Ah. Flickering soccer. Okay, I'm waiting for the Watatsumi one. Whispering plane. I don't think either of those are the Watatsumi music that I'm looking for. Okay, let's see what it is that you posted. I have my my doubts. A bit intense here for exploring teapot. Intense teapot moment. Intense teapot moment was me panicking about load limits. Now we're just going on a leisurely stroll through the teapot. To see the, the other things, like, um, once I get there. Oh my god, Elon, get us here, like, with some degree of alacrity, please. Take it easy. See, so yeah, I've got Yoimiya's little firework zone over here. 
and Yoimiya and Cookie, because I, I could have just, like, added more fireworks and things for Yoimiya, but I didn't want her to be alone, so I decided I'd put Cookie there with her. And now they both can experience fireworks together. And then, obviously, the thing I showed at the beginning, but is also stuff that I've been working on videos with. This. Which is a much more impressive use, and also where all of my other shit has gone. Of, um, me not being able to walk upstairs. Um, interior exteriors here. Or exterior interiors. Making a house out of a cave. With Weasel Friend. Peaceful, minus, you know, the sounds of onslaught going on. But yeah, this took me like a whole day to do and extensively used snowman clipping. We didn't see a huge amount of snowman clipping today, but holy shit, snowman clipping was used like everywhere in this. Like, I mean, it was... It was everywhere. Th this took me a while to make. Definitely one of my more complicated builds, for sure. I think next time I do a teapot stream, I'll probably do an interior teapot. Because, well, as we see, I'm running out of very good, useful um, exterior stuff. But this area is really cool. I don't have a fucking teleporter here. God damn it. Teleporters should not take load limit. I firmly believe teleporters do not need to take load limit. Like, firmly, firmly believe that. Did you like that song? And it was, I mean, it was kind of just like battle music. It didn't... Given the situation we're in, it definitely didn't fill me with, with joy. Um, because we're just in the teapot. Like, I don't know. Earlier for, like, Abyss Run, that might have been better. I'm going to turn the, the music in here on, though. Because we're about done. I just want to go up and walk through this once more. Again, it looks pretty from the outside. Like, from this area, this looks really pretty. Like, from this view alone, like... This is nice. Hello, Kutsu. Welcome. I probably mispronounced your name. Um, we just finished a teapot build that is pretty, but also makes me sad because load limits hurt a lot. And we already did the, the cookie abyss. Um, that was That was fun. Again, abyss becomes much more enjoyable. Uh, when you know you can just beat it effortlessly. <laughs> uh, this is, uh... Yeah, it's a nice area, except for the blank space that the load limit won't let me do anything with. Can you do mine, do your what? Your, your teapot? Decorate your teapot for you? I wish I... We talked about this before, like, co-op realm teapot building, because that would be really cool. I would definitely like co-op realm teapot building. Um, again, this build is... This build's all right. The other build that I made some videos for for YouTube is a much more technically impressive build. You're going to fall down the stairs there, Kooky? Come on now. Um, but this build has some pretty areas, like here. This is a really peaceful zone. That's how internet works. If your nickname has letter U by the letter W, they'll always make an ooh pun. Dear God. Uh, it, would you be happy to know that I did not think of uwu at all? And when you said uwu, I was like, shit, does his name have uwu? No, it doesn't even have uwu in there. Now that I look at it, there's no other U in there. It doesn't even work. But yeah, this area is alright until you get to the 
blank spots because load limit hurts me emotionally. Um, but you know, it, it looks cool. It works out. Um, actually, real quick. This realm is. Yeah, this realm's something. Um. And we. Oh my god, we can buy these. Uh, yoink. And can we buy these? Yep. Gonna need them again, cause we're out. Ty, I hate what you just did, by the way. I just wanted to point that out. I just want it on record that I hate what you did there. Um, I'm gonna buy more of these, because I used quite a few of them here, too. And more of these. I don't like getting below 20k, uh... Teapot cuck coins. That doesn't fill me with joy. If you ever have. But yeah, there you go. This build and this build down here. These are the, the two the two builds. Or at least the two good builds in here. The Yoimiya campfire area is cool too, but it's not as impressive in God damn it. You gotta like walk up these stairs. Um, it's not as impressive as these. These, again, these are impressive. At least on some level. And Weasel Friend. You can even take, like, you know, nice scenic photos here. You have no idea how much I've been, like, doing this for the, the video stuff that I've been working on. Getting all of these, like, photos and things. I think I have a photo that legitimately is just this. But anyways, that will probably do it for today, except we have... Stream Bingo. We still have the old Stream Bingo here to do. So let me jump onto that real quick, and we'll do stream bingo. Boom, there it is. So let me hit up stream bingo here, and then um, we will go from there. So Genshin, go into it. Um, emergency rock placement definitely happened today in the teapot. Yep. Uh, chat reminds me of the time I didn't see the Sepith. No. A bug interrupts the stream. Thankfully, no. Um, I mine rocks. No, Paimon wants to steal money. No, I do some weird voice. I did Mario voices for no reason. Spams all of the bursts. Yeah, that happened in the abyss. Uh, companion takes all the load. No, no, no. Fat Tui. Fat Tui did exist in the abyss. Says it'll be a short stream, but goes long. I didn't say it was going to be short. I don't think. I drink all the dumb bitch juice. I had very little dumb bitch juice, actually, despite how much I talked. Smug Lumine Face? Nope. Gets angry over lollies? No. Chat bullies me. Thankfully, also no. Aggro's enemies? No. Rants about leaks? We didn't rant about leaks, no. Cock! Yeah, that was probably said. Crab spotted? Crab derails cutscene or conversation? No. I rant about numbers and builds? Yeah. Nightbot did not do any of that. Paimon says something. Nope. Paimon didn't say a damn thing. Questionable camera angles. Nope. Um, no, it doesn't look like there's anything for a bingo for me. At least not on my card today. Almost sounds like, please no. Um, but anyways, that is my bingo card for today. Um, again, we got that, we got the Abyss, we got, uh, we got the good stuff today. Again, this will probably be the last Genshin stream until 2.8, which 2.8 is out in, like, what, 11, 12 days? Um, so, once 2.8 comes out, we will go from there, and, um, we'll see what happens then. Uh, even then, might be a last... Well, no, we still have some interior teapot streams that we can do. I do want to do... Tomorrow is going to be... Um, tomorrow is going to be Rune Factory 5 again. I'm going to try to do that. Hoping for audio blessings. Because... I, 
this has been a mess with audio. Um, will you stream this weekend? Yeah, yeah. Tomorrow, Rune Factory 5 for sure. I want to get some more in that in because we didn't really get too far with that. Um, I mean, we, we just ran around and told everybody we saw that we loved them and got rejected repeatedly. That was That's basically Rune Factory 5 in a nutshell for me. Oh, and a dragon with a farm on its back. I don't know. Figure that shit up. Um, but that will be all for today. So tomorrow again, Rune Factory 5. I don't know about Sunday or whatever. I might be doing editing. And then we'll, we'll go from there into uh, the other stuff that we're going to do. Put on that one last song you requested. I think I already did, didn't I? Um, but, uh, yeah, tomorrow will be Rune Factory. And then Sunday, we'll see what happens. Maybe more Rune Factory. I still have to eventually get back in the Tokyo Xanadu and Trails. I also, at one point or another, wanted to do Atelier Thick 2 this summer. And also, um, whatchamabob? Freaking East 9. Oh, God, it's going to be suffering. I don't know when that'll happen. But, like I said, I will be back tomorrow. We will Rune Factory it up. And we will go from there. So until then, take care and enjoy uh, the teapot.